first started producing uh, Japanese Akoya pearls. Mm. And they're of natural color, exactly how they came out of the ocean. And you get that all delivered to you for 200 pounds, for seven pounds a pearl. It represents better value than anything I think exists on, in the jewelry business or on the jewelry earth. I think you're absolutely right. And if you do like pearls, you can't not buy them. And if you're in the pearl business or you're in the gem business or trading in jewelry, we always say you make half the money when you buy it, half the money when you sell it. Mm. In our business, we kind of make it all when we buy it. But it's, um, it's something quite extraordinary if you like pearls to start your pearl collection oh my goodness, thank with you this. pearls like this. And you really are making money by buying pearls because you can't buy these for this price anywhere else in the world. And also, just just as a little side note, they are such large Akoyas. Um, I, 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 you can't these are buy them at this price anywhere else in the world. Does not exist. Goodness It'd me. be impossible for you to ever buy them for this price. If you went to a pearl dealer's office in, say, London, mm -hmm. you, you couldn't buy these for £700. Goodness me. Well done, Janice. Well done to you, Heather. Maker in Essex, Jill. Maker in Devon, Veronica. Christine, Sue just taken to Candy, Pamela. In Baskets, we've got Maker in West Yorkshire, Fiona, Lynette, Ruth. There are so many people there. This is absolutely superb. Um, and, you know, again, you could do a lot worse than restranding this, a pearl knotting this and making this into the most incredible estate piece of jewellery going and getting it valued. Um, uh, please do get your authenticity certificate because it will say that yeah. these are genuine Akoyas as well. That is, that, is, that is the key here. Absolutely incredible. Morning, Charlie, Carol, Mark uh, and all the crew. Carol, please, can I have a look at the bracelet? Um, yes, it is macrame, Mel. Um, what does that mean? Uh, this macrame. is macrame. This is a, um, a what, technique. The technique? It's wow. called Makarame. This it's is very, um, very skillful. Isn't indeed. it just? It's been set with um, ice white zircon as well. Um, beautifully set. Made by Mark. The talented Mark. <laughs> the talented Mark Smith. <laughs> it's absolutely superb. Remember the, um, the plant holders, the knotted plant holders in the 19... You, you can't remember the 70s, but... <laughs> no. But in the 70s... But it's a knotting technique You're using heavy cord. Mm. And this, oh, wow. and as you start using sterling silver wire, it's exactly the same technique. It produces mm. the most elegant pieces of jewellery just yeah. like this. Wow. Special, special stuff. I'm just shocked it only took you 45 minutes. The first one you ever did must have taken days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just you've done a lot. Yeah, I've done a lot. <laughs> and do you sell the jewellery that you make? I used to. I used to, but Jewellery Maker keeps me so busy now. But really? I used to do craft fairs, and, 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 and I did a craft fair at Blenheim Palace. Really? Uh, which is just I had up lunch the road there yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just up the road. For it. We, go, we go there quite often. And... Um, no, it's, it's just, I love it. And oh, as I said, this is the first time I've used your pearls. And, oh, and wow. I treated them with such respect. The, yes. Well, they are fabulous. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Uh, I, and I, they, I, it looks amazing. Wow. It, it does look stunning, doesn't it? Beautiful. And that's your deal of the day coming up in about half an hour's time. Um, I have an Aquia pearl from Charlie a while ago. And oh boy, do I love them. Uh, as do other friends of mine. Thanks. That's from Sally. Oh, thanks, Sally. I'm glad you like them. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Right. Let's move on. That's absolutely superb. Well done. Okay. Um, we're moving on now to this astonishing strand. That's the whole, that's the full Monty. That's the whole necklace. It's graduated. Yeah, I mean, you oh could just buy goodness. a clasp and clasp it and learn how to string yourself. It's quite incredible. Wow. There is most definitely a difference when you've got, as you say, the full Monty, the, the entire necklace here. This is a graduated piece. Are pearls, is a pearl necklace which is graduated valued differently, would you say, to a, to a pearl necklace which isn't graduated? Would you value it differently? Would you buy it differently? I, I don't buy necklaces. I buy mm -hmm. it all loose. Uh, I, I personally just value it pearl by pearl. Mm -hmm. uh, as a structure and as an item, it's much more elegant and beautiful to have a graduated pearl necklace, I'd agree you with could that, say. Yeah. But it's not uh, value-wise. It'd be based on the size of the pearls. The line if they were the same that you get with a graduated strand is just, it is quite exceptional, isn't it? Yeah, and I think, it, I'm looking at this and it looks like there's 60 pearls and I'm just dying to count it. <laughs> oh, Can sorry. I count it quickly? Yes, please do, Charlie. Count it, I've noticed you're counting fives. I count fives and smaller pearls and bigger pearls three. Uh -huh. Weirdly, you can see five, um, can't you? Rather than you can see five. fives yeah. of, without counting it. Yeah. You can, and you pull your fingers across it and you can feel it. Mm. So like this. If you put it together, Charlie's you can, held a lot can, of pearls over the years. You can count it in tens, which in uh, the smaller sizes, when they're so, these ones are so uniform and so perfect together that you can count it in tens. Uh, but there's, there's 10, 20, 
30, 40, 50, Five, fifty-five pounds. Just oh. look at that against against your against your um, uh, blazer, because the, the, the color—it's so the pop of the pop of luster that you get from it. I mean, the recording is absolutely beautiful. Maybe you could hold it up and show what it looks yeah. like as a necklace. Because this is—I mean, this is absolutely. Isn't that just incredible? Ooh. It's like the princess necklace, and these pearls have Gosh. a white color with a pinkish overtone. Mm -hmm. You can absolutely see that, actually, can't you? You really, Hang really on. can. Can I just look at these? I think the graphics is wrong. Okay. It says it's a freshwater pearl from Thailand. But just these are Japanese Akoya pearls. So these are six to eight mil in size. Is that is that correct? Six to well, six to eight mil. You can see that the small yeah. ones there are about. These are Japanese Akoya pearls. It's, it says cream Akoya pearls now. Yes. Six to eight millimeters, but ah. it just said freshwater pearls. Please okay. ignore that. That's a yeah, problem we'll with the get graphics. those details. Um, we'll, we'll That's get those a problem with the graphics. Yeah. Um, the, the the okay. So we're going to. So the graphics are live. Um, uh, feel free to pop these in your baskets. This is this is again something. This is estate jewellery. This is your. Um, this is this is something so unbelievably special. I just keep looking at that recording. They are luminous. That incredible luster, the, the reflective quality that you get here. And actually, when you see them in the studio or up at the neckline, you can see that gorgeous kind of pink veil, that kind of overtone that you get there. Um, so we're currently at thirty-six pounds a pearl. <laughs> I was given that information. I didn't just do that in my head. Uh, £1,999 uh, on four individual split payments of £499.75. and pence. OK, so we are already phenomenally priced and we've already got people with this in their baskets. Presumably, Tom, we don't have we don't have a, a massive quantity of this. OK, so we've got shy of 20 of these strands. Actually, you know, that's much more than I thought we would have. But anyway, £699. You see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking about what you were saying earlier on, Charlie, about literally restranding it, learning how to not, learning how to string your pearls um, uh, uh, properly. And, and there is, you take that to be valued, that I can't think of any, anywhere that would even think, even contemplate valuing something like this at £699. That is absolutely tremendous. Or it's a lot of pairs of earrings and a lot of bracelets and a lot of whatever. <laughs> absolutely. It's not your price point today. Maker in West Sussex, you've got two in your basket. Feel free to, feel free to check out when you're happy with that price point. £699 is unbelievable already, isn't it? Um, Beautiful quality, gorgeous size, beautiful graduation. It really does something to the line of that necklace or bracelet indeed. I'll pop it up to my neckline again if you like so you can see it as a see it at the neckline there again. Look at that. Beautiful. You can even take, yeah, a couple of the pearls off if you wanted to make them into gorgeous earrings. Um, beautiful size, isn't that stunning? Amazing. And it and it will grow when you once it's knotted, it will grow an inch. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I suppose it would. Um, uh, yeah, a, a knot in between each one of these. How do you feel wearing them? Does it? The oh, way, it your, your deportment has completely changed. It's Did stunning. You your, that you're sitting straight. But it is. It, it, it is the kind of thing. Yeah. You know, you look at an Akoya, You're you're wearing. Yeah, not my usual slumpy self. <laughs> <laughs> Pearls also they have a very high thermal conductivity, so they draw the heat from the hand. So when you put them on and it feels cold initially, they say it's been kissed by a pearl. Oh my word. Yeah. Oh, that just one hundred and ninety nine ninety nine. What? <laughs> yeah, that bad. is a lot. Divided that is by fifty five is crazy. That is a lot of pearls. Um, that's Suja, well done to you. Unbelievable. Buy as many as you possibly can. That's completely insane. Okay, so we've how gone can from you buy a row of Japanese Akoya pearls of natural color that beautiful, that bright, that perfect for two hundred pounds is completely. From, Mental. from three, sorry, from thirty-six pounds a pearl to three pounds sixty a pearl. That is incredible. Candy, Caroline, Maker, and West Sussex has got two there. Well done to you, my lovely. More people coming through. This is incredible. Caroline from the Channel Islands, you absolutely adore the pearls that we've bought to wear, uh, that we've been bringing to wear over the last over the last few months. I know, um, and and to add these incredibly 
beautiful naturally colored acquires into your collection is just incredible keep coming back charlie says suja i know it's wonderful isn't it gabrielle lynette heather well done to you christine um loads and loads and loads in baskets there well done 199 pounds and 99 pence incredible quality sharon in Caffili as well heather in middlesex coming through well done to you they're going all over the country what an incredible opportunity go 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 well done and use those split payments, use those split payments. But believe you and I, if you are a, a really, um, if you are a really confident pearl knotter and it's something which you can, with your pearl stringing, you absolutely love, I honestly believe you could get this home. You could, um, uh, you know, pay that first split payment. And by the time it comes to your second split payment, you've sold them for three, four, five, six times what you pay for them. Well done, Jenny and Dorset. Well done to Pamela in Devon. Well done, you coming through. You've got your 30 day money back guarantee as well. Not that you're gonna need it. With something of this kind of caliber, you are not gonna need this. Eight chances remaining. Well done. What an incredible opportunity for you today. Well done. We are about 25 minutes away from our deal of the day as well, just to let you know as well, which is the most gorgeous collection of loose pearls. Um, and, uh, and, and we're very, very excited excited about that demonstration obviously in the 11 o'clock hour with Mark as well but huge congratulations I need to get you to check out we're down to the last five chances I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine I've got a dozen in baskets for the last five chances up to you enjoy everyone this is not an opportunity these are not the kind of pills that we will bring you on a daily basis obviously it's something which uh, we will only be doing with Charlie when he comes to visit us uh, I have your pearls love them thank you so much says Mary in Cardiff Oh, thanks, Mary. I'm glad you enjoy them. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They really are. They're, they're, they are. They are so, so special. Caroline's got another one. Well done to you, multi buying there. What an incredible opportunity. Well done, in-house designer Anne coming through as well. Angela in Surrey. Well done. Any questions that you've got? Um, uh, Chinese golden Celsius pearls are by far the best. Uh, are by far my best seller. Single pendants. Thank you, Charlie. Oh, fantastic. That's wonderful, isn't it? You've got 55 pearls on here. If you wanted to, I mean, I, I don't think I could, but if you wanted to split this strand up and make it into 55 separate pieces, you could do, but the time it's taken to graduate it's, this, it's, Charlie. At, at that price point, I'd just put a clasp on it. Yes, exactly. And learn how to string. Exactly. Fantastic, amazing, well done. More people there, we've got to move on. Um, ah, right, okay, now the next, opportunity that we've got is for a pair of earrings <laughs> they are round they're perfect round they perfect really round are aren't they where's the drill hole on this one they are all half drilled this is a really really limited opportunity that we've got here there's only three chances available oh my word they are exceptional would you say this is your classic Akoya size, Charlie? No, the classic would be smaller. These are quite large size mm -hmm. for Akoya pearls, but they are absolutely beautiful. Oh, my word. Again, from the Western Japanese Sea, Japanese Akoya pearls, natural color. And I guess they've been put with these posts so you can glue them in at home. Absolutely. So you've got what look like little ski poles here with a little peg on the, uh, the oh gosh, there's only one chance remaining, with, um, with your peg on here. You can either use your hyper cement or your two-part epoxy glue. Whatever you do, take your time, do it carefully. And of course, let that cure for 24 hours. It will be one of the quickest, but most rewarding and most exceptional pieces that you've made. Oh, they've completely sold out. Well done. Give the call central call. I think there may be one left, but I think, oh, I'm not entirely sure actually. I think that has gone. Well done, fantastic. Okay, now, oh, now this is special. I can't quite believe what Tom was saying earlier on about this. This is... Um, so this is people wonder why golden pearls are gold. Oh. And you'll see it that if you turn that round, mm -hmm. golden pearl, <gasps> the pearls are colored by the color of the host oyster. This is a oyster from the Philippines, a golden lip oyster from the Philippines. It's a Pink Tile and Maxima, it's a South Sea golden pearl oyster. And in the wild, in normally, it would just be covered in barnacles. But if you chip the barnacles away and you polish it down, that's what is revealed beneath. And on a chemical level, it's actually the same as a pearl, calcium carbonate and aragonite. Wow. And it's stacked in a specific crystalline structure that makes it harder than concrete and three times lighter. Wow. Yeah. Goodness me. 
That's quite some armour, isn't it? Big time. And people often ask, what do we do with them? But they make the best gifts in the world. These are something you can give the richest person in the world, and they're still happy. Yes. And they're amazed when they look at it, and they pick it up, and they're like, wow, that's just incredible. They're completely wonderful. And people use them. Uh, they're great gifts for men. Men keep cufflinks in them. Mm -hmm. Women, I don't know if you take your earrings off at night when you mm -hmm. sleep and put it on your bedside table, put those in it. We use them as uh, butter dishes. They're yes. like great for butter Lovely. dishes and salt flakes. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. like on the table. People leave them on the on the side and have keys in them. People keep them as ornaments. There's a million and th thousand different uses for them. And everyone I've ever given to them, them to, I say, what do you do? Use it for? And they've all got a different reason. How wonderful! How wonderful! Also, as a point a of reference, use. if you are going to be uh, getting. Uh, these incredible pearls today and possibly selling them on at a later date it makes it, it's a great point of reference as well to be able to show your customers as well you know this is this is where the color is derived from um, they are beautiful and I think you're absolutely right yeah. you, you ask whoever you know what what they would do with these and I think everybody will give you a different answer but yeah for as a photography tool as well if and you want to exactly for showcasing pearls mm. Mark and I were talking earlier and he was saying that he used to do craft fairs mm. and it's a great way of displaying absolutely. your pearls yeah. in a showcase or something incredible so you look at that. I know, not necessarily, not necessarily from from this particular oyster, but but you know, the, as as a photography yeah, so you tool, you get the idea. Of, absolutely. What I find is incredible is if the colour of the shell, looking at it now, mm -hmm. and then you hold it up vertically, it completely changes. I it, mean, it really does. The you change, the colour, yeah, it's the play of light. Yeah, it's fascinating. Almost like it's prismatic, isn't it? They're, they're, they're just, they're just beautiful pieces these are and of course every every single one of these is going to be unique as well every single one of these is going to give you a different story <laughs> for 49.99 oh my gosh that is ridiculous mad. that is that really is mad it's incredible isn't it well done they're going it's going to london worcestershire it's going all over the country this is amazing i have this shell as a display feature and so many people comment on the beautiful color yeah it, it really is it really is beautiful isn't it uh, to use it as a display I, I would be tempted to have this kind of permanently out on my um, uh, sideboard in my kitchen and put, yes, yeah, salt flakes in it. I think that's just just so lovely. What a wonderful thing to be able to have. The way my mind works, I'll be wondering where the other half is. Where in the world is it? <laughs> oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. Janice, well done to you. Lorna's got two as well. As a, you know, as a tool, if you wanted to kind of make it into some kind of a sculpture as well, you know, kind of wiring the two together, then you absolutely could do. You could um, turn it over and it'd be the most amazing tree of life base, couldn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's a great... Great idea, actually. So, yeah, your wire work would come up. If, that would be If beautiful. you're a really good jeweller, and I know it sounds a lot and a bit strange, but if you, you can cut it and create motifs out of it oh, and yeah. use that Ooh, in jewellery. Oh, wow. So we do, like, watch faces for Rolex and things like that out of these. Oh, really? Um, Fantastic. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I suppose when you look at that kind of uh, oyster shell face, yes, I suppose that's you, exactly, what that's exactly where it comes from. Yeah. Wow, that's fascinating, isn't it? Uh, morning, old Charlie. How old were you when you started in the business and where did you start? Uh, I have some of your pearls and I love them, says Sharon in Caffilly. We, um, we did every, every summer holiday, we did the pearl harvest from 12 mm. uh, years old. So we had chipped barnacles off oysters basically from like dawn till dusk, like 5 or 6 a.m. until... 9 p.m. on the boats as kids um, and then I went immediately at 18 and moved to Japan to start really working in the business you could say and I was four years or three years in Asia but in that process I studied at the GIA to become a gemologist I worked in ruby offices diamond polishing I worked for you know Asha where they cut the Cullen diamond I worked I was lucky that my family were able to place me in, in places where I learned very quickly and I stayed in each job I did two to three months so you learn everything that you can in that time and then and then move and I just did internship after internship um, and then for about four years and then I did maybe two years maybe two years in in America mm -hmm. uh, on the buying and the selling and the trading and then moved to Europe and and had a few years there and then COVID for a few years and of course. now here we are. So a wealth of knowledge, not just in pearls, but in but in but in wow. so many other well you've you've studied gemology in in, in, in uh, fine Yeah, and we still well. we still trade also in, in important gemstones and we a lot of what we do is we trade in historic uh, jewels and historic collections. Wow. So and we buy a lot of historic pearls, uh, as many as we can and we've had 
you know, some very important pearls owned by Marie Antoinette and many famous important people. And with that, we buy a lot of gemstones as well still. Goodness me. Speaking of historic, Cleopatra Akoyas. Cleopatra Akoyas, exactly. That's how she <laughs> liked to string her pearls. A nice segue there. Um, yeah. These are... Um, these are quite exceptional um, Akoyas here. I remember bringing these to air, I think it was back in March, actually, uh, with you. The, the, the way that these have been selected, the way that they have been drilled, the range of colour that you got here is absolutely beautiful. And it's on the temporary strand. It's not even, you know, it's not even made into a piece of jewellery yet. But yeah, just Isn't as that they incredible? are. incredible? Look at that. Isn't Look at all those incredible colours. They are amazing. Mm. They're beautiful. They're fabulous. They're just extraordinary. All these wonderful Baroque Akoya pearls. Oh, my are word. Just amazing. And it look amazing on the neckline. Yeah, just look at the, the, the incredible um, uh, way that they sit as well, the way that they tessellate. They're beautiful. That through line's just gorgeous, isn't it? Have a look at the, the neckline as well. You've got these gorgeous kind of almost platinum colours as well, which is just exceptional. Look at this. How did the name Cleopatra come about? Cleopatra is one of the most famous sort of pearl wearers of all time, and mm. there's a famous story of her expressing her wealth to Mark Antony, and mm. she put a pearl in a bottle of vinegar. Vinegar, yes. And and it wouldn't do much, to be honest. It would probably just clean the pearl. Right. But it's a story, and they say that the pearl dissolved mm. in a thing of vinegar, and in the, in pearls have historically always been the most valuable gem, and it was only really in the after the war that, right. that diamonds took over as the most valuable gem. Oh, goodness so me. before that, it was always always pearls. And we right. have famous stories like, the two, if, I don't know if you've ever been to New York, but the Cartier store in New York on mm. Fifth Avenue is like a kind of Buckingham Palace on Fifth Avenue. Mm -hmm. And they bought the building in exchange for a two-row pearl necklace. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the other Cartier brothers went nuts at Pierre Cartier for doing it because they thought the necklace was too great and the building wasn't good enough. <gasps> Oh my god. Goodness um, me. And, uh, it's the best retail <laughs> store in the world. It really um, is. It's the best bit of real estate in the world. For that jewelry. really is that the building oh. wasn't good um, enough. And Goodness because me. the pearls were so nice, they mm. were very angry. That's fantastic. And so, Goodness me. And Cleopatra just was obviously one of the sort of wealthiest women of all time. Of course. And she had lots of pearls being right. that wealthy. And that's how she drilled the pearls. And that, that method of drilling now, today, we call it Chinese drilling. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the Maharajas of India used to drill their pearls like that, in the, in, right. like that way in the back, so they could sew them on as buttons. And they would just ah. adorn their entire jacket or clothing with pearls and everything. I, I wondered um, whether it was because you can actually get more on the strand, so it's even more indulgent, because, of course, if you mm. got that slightly... Maybe that's another reason. Yeah, she possibly. Just to wear lots of pearls. <coughs> I'm not sure. And I think that... And I think all along the Silk Road, that's how they were drilling pearls from, from China to Venice. Fascinating. Wow. Fascinating. £1,999 at this moment in time. We do have... Uh, we do have... I really? See how many Under what, are. sorry? It's going to take Under a while, but... 500 pounds. I think this is the, the biggest amount of pearls that we bought. I can't take my eyes off that beautiful Baroque uh, platinum yeah. colored one on the left hand side of the image there. It's, it's absolutely superb. Put these in your basket. We bought them to wear first in March, I believe. Um, uh, so anybody who came through to get these uh, back then, because it was very, very popular back then, then please do, uh, please do let us know. I believe it was deal of the day back in March. Um, I have these, Charlie. They are beautiful and so much better in real life. I love, love, love them. We all love you, Mark and Carol. Oh, Denise, you're so <laughs> sweet. There's a lot of love in the room today. This is really lovely. Thank you so much, lovey. Um, <laughs> Charlie's busy counting the pearls there. Uh, we're at £499. Hi, Carol, Charlie and Mark. Oh. I bought two of the Cleopatra strands for my daughters as a special gift for Christmas. Oh, this is Caroline in the Channel Islands. Everyone who's seen them adores them. That is a really special gift. Goodness me. There are 98 pearls. <laughs> 98. Wow. Which makes them £5 a pearl. Mad. Wow. You cannot buy pearls wow. anywhere in the world. 98 on the strand. If they were through drilled through the middle, through the widest part, look at that one there. Isn't that stunning? Um, then you would be getting significantly fewer pearls. This is really quite exceptional. We're about to take it where, sorry? Two pounds. Oh, my word. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we're taking these down. <laughs> 
Oh, gosh. Right. OK, the, the price point this is going to, you have to put these in your baskets. Do it now. Just put them in your basket. But where we are going is so far removed from where we currently are. I need to see you there with this in your baskets. I could listen to Charlie all day long. He, sh uh, he, he shows such passion. Debs, doesn't he just? Thanks, Debs. Absolutely. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through. Loads of you with these in your baskets. This is absolutely incredible. Go, 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 go. Please do just put these in your baskets. Check out £149.99. and pence. <gasps> Split payments of £37.49. Joking aside, I'd probably spend more than £149.99 on, you know, on, you know, on, on the clasp that this, that this would make the necklace. This is exceptional. How can we... I, I can't believe that. £149.99. And, and, you know, how, you might be asking yourself, well... How can we do this? How can we take these prices so low? Obviously, with you know, with our with our connections with Charlie, we have you know, it's, we're cutting out all those middlemen, and we are going as as close to source as you can possibly get at one hundred and forty nine ninety nine. That is tremendous. There's so many in baskets. Jenny's multi bought. That's so wonderful to see. And I'm sure that when we first saw this incredible piece this morning, um, nobody ever thought in their wildest dreams they'd ever be in a position to multi buy this. But today you are Janice, Nikki, Maker, Anthony, Caroline, uh, Yulva, Tracy, Maker, Sally, Catherine, Joan. You've all got these in your baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. This You're making money by buying these. We're, we're losing money by selling these. You cannot, it's impossible to get pearls for less than two pounds. I mean, it's, it's insane. <laughs> And these are Akoya pearls. It's completely These aren't insane. just any pearls. These so how, are Akoya pearls. Oh, well, how many pearls. years would these, would these be? How Two years in the Two oyster years. each, which wow. so collectively is 196 years. And again, it's a similar story where it's, 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 it's basically one pearl per oyster, isn't it? Just superb. Every time I see Charlie, he tells a fabulous, magical story. I can listen to him speak forever. I <laughs> love Thanks, my pearls and Charlie. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, we've always said to Charlie, you should write a book, and, and, you, and you keep pushing back on that. Mm. Um, I think you I genuinely do should. do that. You could just dictate <laughs> it, though. Mm, I don't know what I'd write about <laughs> or talk about. All of your stories. All of your stories. Getting eaten by a shark. Yes, I mean, yeah, just make some up. Not many, you know, there's not many stories. There was there? a story about um, your grandfather on the boat and he found that enormous pearl and he thought that there was a... A great-great-grandfather. Oh, was it your great-great-grandfather? Yeah, it was a very important pearl. It's an amazing story. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You can... You can tell... Well, you, you don't if you, if you want to know, it, there's, there's been, like, many reasons why the business got to where it got but when in the early days when in the second generation when they were fishing pearls around uh, it's like i think it was in 1885 something like that when they're fishing pearls off the northwest coast of australia they had a few boats of their own but they would buy from everyone else and one day just by absolute chance it, they went up there and in those days the people that were fishing the pearls were half basically convicts and half um, aboriginals. Mm -hmm. And it was a really lawless time. It was a really the Wild West. You could just get killed and no one would ever know out there all the time. It was happening. It was terrible, really. And um, so one day he decides for some ridiculous reason that he's going to go on the boats. And he wants to go out to sea and really see. And they're, they're opening oysters in those days, wild oysters, and taking the pearls out. And you get one pearl every sort of 10,000 shells. And every, every now and again, you get the, an amazing, amazing pearl, but never really happens. And you could, you could write in a 50-page in a book in the human history all the pearls on this level, the, these big, big pearls. And they're, nearly all of them are still maintained in royal collections. They're never really sold. Goodness me. And you never really see them. Anyway, so one day he's on this boat, and it, two days into this voyage out to sea, and he finds, he opens an oyster and finds a gem, gem, teardrop shape, incredible natural pearl, which in today's money is like a kind of $2 million pearl, $3 million. But in those days, it was like equivalent in real estate, maybe like 20, 30, mm -hmm. like a really important pearl. And he knew for sure that if his crew found out, they'd just kill him and steal the pearls, mm -hmm. and there'd be a big brawl. So he slipped into his glove, and 
he said to everyone, right, I've just got a feeling that we should all really go back to shore. Mm -hmm. I just really got a feeling. And being from London, the whole family was like fully insured on all counts of everything, mm -hmm. really. Um, uh, being, you know, near Lloyd's in London and things like that. And so um, they decide, and the crew, and he says to the crew, well, I'll pay you in full and we'll all go back to land. And the crew are just loving life because they get to go home and see their wives or whatever. And, you know, it's all, all great. And as they're coming in, the wind starts getting up and he's thinking, well, that's quite good. We're coming in. It's getting a bit choppy. And then it gets choppier and choppier. And they're trying to get back into Darwin, which is in the north in kind of the middle of Australia, which is where the, most of the pearling activity was in that time. Um, and they're getting in and it gets so choppy that they end up going up a, 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 a cove, into a cove, and it, up uh, as far inland as they can get and basically beach the boat and just sort of make a run for it and they mm -hmm. wait out the storm. And that, that, that night or those next two nights or, or day and a half was the biggest cyclone they would ever had in recorded history. And it wiped out 60% or 70% of all the pearling luggers, all the pearl boats across the northwest coast of Australia, um, and including his other two boats were wiped out. He then went back to London, sold the pearl for probably a lot of money, went back to Australia and bought all the other pearl businesses. Um, as many as he That's could. That's a story. And then they had one of the biggest sort of fisheries overnight. So it's a kind of bizarre story, but it helped. Serendipity. It's amazing. Yeah. It's incredible. Yes, I'm sure it did help. That's yeah. incredible. Quite incredible. Oh. Um, amazing. Yeah. So stories like that. Um, let's take a trip to Tahiti. So Tahiti is, um, is, wow. is a big island or the main island in, in the, the South Pacific Ocean. The region of islands in the, in the South Pacific is actually, the, and the nation is called French Polynesia. It's just the largest island is called Tahiti, so we know it as Tahiti. Mm -hmm. And we call these pearls Tahitian pearls, or, and some people wrongly um, call them black pearls. And really, you'll discover that these pearls are anything but black and have a myriad of amazing colors and overtones. And they're from a much, much smaller oyster called the Pink Tada Margaritifera oyster. This, this Tahitian pearl oyster. And they always say that the, um, the white pearl oyster, the pink tartar maxima, the biggest oyster, is like the size of a dinner plate. And the Tahitian pearl oyster is like the size of a side plate. Mm -hmm. Now, the Tahitian pearls are on average are much, much smaller. And the average size, or should I say 85% of all Tahitian pearls are eight millimeters or below. Wow. So anything in nine millimeters and above is in the top 15%. This being a 13 millimeter pearl <laughs> is unequivocally rare. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it's perfectly round and it has a beautiful luster. So it's really, you're looking in the top sort of, you know, two, three percent of one be. or two percent of all Tahitian pearls. Goodness me. And if you put the white piece of paper under it, mm. you, will, um, you will see. And if you just get a single. Um, a single sheet and just turn it and just mm -hmm. hide it a bit from the light so you can just about start you can't see the color it's actually impossible i'm sorry um it's just impossible to see the color in the yeah, studio light but basically it's an amazing pearl it, it really is it's and a it's very rare pearl it's absolutely beautiful there is only uh, oh a couple God. i think yeah, we've got um, one, it's one chance remaining. Absolutely stunning and completely beautiful. Your drill hole is situated just at the top here, so the pearl will sit um, very much uh, like that. It's absolutely superb. It's it's an it, it, it is such an exclusive club to own something like this, to own something of this of this beauty and the colour, that beautiful um, uh, darkest darkest blue, beautiful. It's oh, it's sold out. Well done, gorgeous. Um, beautiful. Well done. We've now got the most beautiful strand. This is my favourite strand, I think. Is really, it? You it love really caught my eye this morning when I came in. And it, I, was going, I was going to talk to Charlie a bit later on about the whole, the whole thing at the moment where gents are starting to wear pearls. I mean, yeah, really yeah. catching on in popular culture. And I was, I, A, I was going to ask you your feelings. You know, at long last, men are starting to wear pearls. Yeah. And the, I think this sort of strand and these sort of colour ranges, they're really going to, to catch on with gentlemen. Absolutely. And I, I would wear this strand without yeah, a doubt. Yeah, super cool. Beautiful. I, I used to have one just like this. Right. We um, have it in a... We, we used to do it for a jeweller in actually Tahiti. 
I hope oh, it really? is to make them and sell them in Tahiti, back to Tahiti, because they, they can only buy so much, but because of our buying power, we buy pearls better than they. Right. So a big market for us actually is hotels in Tahiti. Oh, I bet, yes. So silly. But we sell them in retail stores, in, to the retail stores in Tahiti, where they sell to the tourists there. And we make them in a, with a string them with elastic. Oh, yeah. So they just, you can just slide them right on, they just hug tight. And I just explain what these are. So these are Tahitian yes. Keshi pearls. As I spoke to you earlier, and we said that um, every, every oyster, every saltwater oyster only can produce one pearl at any one time. Mm -hmm. These are called Keshi pearls. And every one in 2,000 oysters, when we open it, we look for the pearl inside and we find a secondary pearl. Oh. And it always has one sort of nice round pearl and then a small misshapen Baroque pearl. And that's, and that's a Keshi pearl. And on a chemical level, they're exactly oh. like natural pearls. And they always have this incredible, they're always small, and they always have an incredible luster. But these, they're always usually two or three millimeters. Oh. But these at five to six millimeters are much larger pearls. And they are very, very rare and absolutely a beautiful. A miracle and of And have nature. this wonderful organic natural feeling to them. Yes. And wonderful color range. Don't they just, it's an, it's an absolute miracle of nature, isn't it? Um, what, an, what an opportunity. Um, what did you say, one in every how many? Um, 2,000. 2,000, goodness me. We didn't sell them for them. 20 years. We, we stockpiled them for 20 years. Wow. We only started start selling them in COVID. Goodness me. We they had, are absolutely yeah. beautiful. They are absolutely incredible and totally free, totally kind of free form, totally organic and, and naturally occurring as well. They are absolutely gorgeous. The colours you're going to be getting here, the range of colours. And I think what Mark says, absolutely. We are seeing pearls more in, 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 in the... Um we are seeing pearls more within the um, within uh, the male sector, aren't we? And, and 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 this is exactly the kind of pearl I can imagine. Yeah. Um, Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Goodness 31 me. Thirty-one Keshi pearls. One of and the there's... most beautiful things I've ever seen. I yeah, they are say. exceptional. Yeah. They really are. We're at six hundred and ninety-nine pounds. We are nowhere near our price point today. Nowhere near. Um, uh, the, the name Pearl, the word Pearl means unique, so you are getting completely unique individual pieces here. Absolutely beautiful. You're teaching me. <laughs> you what go. language is that in? I have no idea. Oh, right. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. And, and those rings that you get mm. around them as well, it just it, it brings you closer, I think, to where the Pearl is from, the colour, that gorgeous kind of almost like um it's almost like heat vapor isn't it with that kind of wavy waviness uh, that you get across the surface of the pearl there loads and loads and loads in baskets this is wonderful to see yeah almost a movement of water isn't it just gorgeous and i and i always find it difficult to kind of um difficult to let go of the fact that these are from pretty much as far away as you can get from where we are right you now you can't get further mm. That's it, isn't it? You don't know whether you want to go via LA or New Zealand when you get there. Goodness me. That's how far away it is. Yes. You've got a choice, haven't you? You've got a choice. We're kind of, you know, international dateline kind of um, uh, vicinity. This is, this is absolutely superb. Wow. $149.99. Charlie does not look very happy about this. Uh, there were over 30... Did you, 31. 31 on this strand. Goodness me. Anna, Gabrielle, Penny... 483 a pearl for a one in 2000 oyster pearl. Incredible. Mad. Yeah, that is completely. I don't really bonkers. know what to say, but it is completely extraordinary. They are absolutely <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> They and they're really Keshi. Are. Yes, Natural exactly. Natural Keshi pearls. It's incredible. So this is, presumably, this is solid, um, solid nacre as well, then, yeah, presumably. Yeah, always so you, get that, you get that incredible luminosity, this surface luster, which, of course, you, which of course is, is indicative of those incredible Keshi qualities. Anna's got two. Lorna's got two. Gillian, Tracy, Maker, Fran, Sonny. These are absolutely flying out the door. Incredible. And it's interesting, isn't it? Something Charlie mentioned earlier on about, you know, with, you know, with regards to sizes, some people prefer the larger sizes, some people prefer the slightly uh, more delicate sizes. And I think it goes for shapes as well. Some people want the perfect rounds. I personally love Baroque pearls. I love anything uh, which, is, uh, which is an off round as well. Um, uh, so you've got here that, that absolute organic quality. Some are teardrop shapes. They are absolutely beautiful. So many in baskets. Um, 
Fran, well done to you. Pat, well done to you as well. There's loads and loads and loads of people coming through to get these. I must just show you um, uh, baskets as well because baskets are absolutely stacked. Uh, we are limited in quantity with these and there are so many people with these in their baskets. Um, and of course, we've got multi bidders coming through to get these as well. So if you do want to get these, you've got to get them out. So baskets at the minute um, are, are absolutely stacked. Maker in Cumbria, Marion in Middlesex, Gillian, Tracy, Sonia, Yulva, Maker in Herefordshire, Penny, Maker, Heather's got two in her basket. Please check out as soon as you can. We do have multi bidders coming through to get these strands. So get them as soon as you can. Add it onto your order as soon as you can. £149.99 on your individual split payments of £37.49. Unbelievable. Couldn't resist beautiful things, says Fran. Aren't they just? Aren't they just? Sonia's reaction to your story, Charlie. OMG, that was a fantastic uh, piece to write a book. Please. I know. I don't think he will, though. <laughs> I don't think he will. Uh, but absolutely superb. Well done. There's more in baskets. Please do check out as soon as you can. Um, do not go anywhere. When we come back, we are going to be bringing you one of our most exciting offerings, our most exciting parcels. It's going to be your deal of the day. Don't go anywhere. Jewelrymaker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelrymaker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker Warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you, the last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column consite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. 
No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh my word, today's deal of the day is something so special. It's affected us all very, very deeply. Um, uh, this is uh, quite an opportunity and a huge opportunity for you, Mark, I know. Well, it's the first time I've ever worked with, with Charlie Brown Pearls. Mm. And, um, it's quite a privilege, actually, because I love working with Pearls. But because I'm still the only male guest designer, <laughs> I don't get to work with it. I don't get given Pearls very often, mm. to be fair. Uh, I can probably count on both hands the number of times in the 11 years that I've worked here that I've been given Pearls. It's mm -hmm. just not something that, it tends to be sort of a more, they tend to be given to the, to the lady pr the guest designers. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that, I have noticed that. It's <laughs> sexist, so I was, Mark, I was thought, I, I felt a bit. I felt a bit left out, so yeah. to be given, oh, no. So to be given Charlie's pearl, yes. it, so it's best of both. It's made up it for was amazing. And I have to say, I treated them with the utmost respect. Yes. I thought, I'm not going to knock these. I'm going to treat them each individually. So the first thing I did was I separated all the colors, <laughs> first of all. And uh, so you can see the earrings there with the, with the yellow, the golden, and then, the, and then the slightly gray silver color, and then there's the, the pure white. Mm. And it, 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 was, it was just an absolute joy. And as I said, I treated each one with the utmost respect. So hang on, so Mark, you started with this lot, this yes. parcel, yes. and you made all of this out of this lot. Yes. Yeah. You're amazing. Well, I could have wow. made 10 pieces amazing, of jewelry, but I, I wanted to make a pendant, I wanted to make a pair of earrings, and then with the pearls I had left, I was able to make the two bracelets and the, and the gold bracelet on the little stand there I've used black onyx which is one I of my favorite gems me too I love it and black onyx and pearls with gold it's black and gold it's fantastic it is, wow isn't it? Yeah. it's so clever I think as well um, something to highlight as well is that the, yes Mark has used this one this this one parcel if you will the, the different colours you're getting in here are really quite exceptional. Yes. You've got these gorgeous golden tones, beautiful silvery uh, kind of almost blue overtones here. And then here, these almost bright, brilliant kind and of white. how amazing this bracelet is. And look at the way, what do you call this, Mark, your technique? Macrame. 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 Wow, that's amazing. When, when was that developed? In of 1500s. It's, it's, mm. it's, wow. Yeah, it, it was um, uh, it's, it's a, um, a technique that was uh, basically look, um, in Persia, mm -hmm. they used to make Persian rugs. Yeah. And when they did all the weaving, they used to have these long threads hanging from either end. Yeah, yeah. I've seen and it. instead of cutting them all off, they decided to start doing special knotting to get to get knotted frills, and uh, it was actually bought. Queen Victoria was a was a huge macrameist, which not many was people. She? She, she was a huge macrameist. Yeah. What she she used to weave she, or what she, do you she call used it? to do the the the, the, the knotting techniques. Wow. Fantastic. So, so macrame is is it's, it's five knots. That's all macrame is made up of, but it's, the, it's a combination of how you use the different knots and things. And this is known as the square knot, which is the most popular. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of Shambhala bracelets that uh, lots of pop stars and... They're, they're no, but I'm learning thing. now, teach So, so, <laughs> so uh, it, it's a beaded bracelet and it has two little, we call them dongles, the yes. technical term. So two threads that hang down with beads and they click as you, as you, you, as you wear them. And this, as I said, this is just an up, I know what you, you know mean. Them? The, I know yes. what you mean with it's the like string, and there's the like back. a there's like a brick of string that's right. that's that, that's in the, the middle, and they that's pull them the too. Yes, that's I am knot. with you, and I yes. remember it, and I recognise it. You're so right. That, yeah, yeah. That is so a this, thing. this is yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the knot. This is the exactly the same knot, but using sterling, sterling silver. silver. Wow, you're just that's amazing. Yeah. And that do you have to heat the silver to? No, 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 no. Just do it. It's valuable enough to knot with it. Wow, amazing. And can I just point out that I managed to get 0.6 millimeter wire through all of the pearls. No, did you really? The, yeah, so the, the gold wire going through the centre is 0.6 millimetre. Wow. And the silver is 0.4 millimetre. That must be very unusual to get that kind yeah. of... The holes are amazing. either 0.9 or 1 millimetre. Yeah. Amazing. Gosh, that's incredible. That's incredible. This piece of jewellery, I, I, I could look at this all day, and when Mark showed 
uh, the jewellery um, the other day, Ollie, uh, director Ollie said, right, I'm, I'm going to get a special recording for this because that, that is fine jewellery. That, that is. How does it, it, how do people learn how to do this? Do you do a YouTube video or something? I, well, I, th oh, I feature it quite often on the DVDs. show quite a few times. Oh, you've done DVDs. DVDs. Oh, so you can, yeah. they can learn. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, in, wow. in, in fact, I, I think you well. should be doing that in the 11 o'clock wow. hour. Well, I'm yeah. putting everyone to the challenge <laughs> to <laughs> produce these and send photos in. Yes. Look at Mark's videos, learn how to do it, buy the pearls and make it up. I think, I think the temptation when you get pearls like this is to, is to do your pearl knotting with it or to peg set these, and, uh, which I think is wonderful. But I think just with these... With these pieces here today, this is doing something different with them. This is this is doing macrame with them, making fine jewellery. And the opportunity is there for you today. This is the most accessible pearl deal we have ever done with Charlie. I think I'm, I think that's fair to say, isn't it? Yeah. It we've is. never done anything like this before, and this is the biggest bundle deal we've ever done. This is, is the deal of the day. And I can't believe I'm saying this now. But the reason for this show is that it's the, it's the June birthstone. Pearl is the June birthstone, which we actually haven't spoken about yet. Of right. course so it it's is, the, yes. It's the birthstone of June, so it's the birthstone month for Pearl. It really is. I don't know why we haven't said that yet. <laughs> that's, such a, that's, such a good, that's such a good point, something which had, yes, completely, unfortunately, passed me by. But the, the, the range of colour you're getting here, if you wanted to ombre these colour-wise, you absolutely can do everything from your creams to your... I mean, this one here has got the most beautiful colour going through. Your zesty lemon, isn't it? It's just... It absolutely yeah. is. Exquisite. And then you've got pink overtones here. And what's so beautiful is each one of these, each one of these parcels, each one of these offerings is going to be ever so slightly different. You're going to be getting different tones, different veils of colour, different gemminess coming out of each one of these. Um, it is a big quantity opportunity. It is a big quantity opportunity, but... And it's it's going to be... They've actually warned me on this one. They didn't warn me on all the <laughs> other ones. But they've warned me saying this is going to be the most insane, crazy, ridiculous, mad price that we've ever done before. Mm -hmm. uh, so they told me to sort of strap myself in, put the seatbelt on, <laughs> and sort of get ready for it, because it's going to be a little bit crazy. Um, and I kind of agreed to it because of the Platinum Jubilee and, and the Pearl Birthstone of June, and as a way of getting anyone that hasn't worked with pearls before into the pearl business. You're really joining the pearl business with this and it's making it accessible for absolutely everyone in the world to, to get on board and start. And it's just yes. incredible, fabulous and beautiful. And what a wonderful opportunity. And not just any pearls, Charlie. These aren't just any pearls. These, are, also, these are Baroque pearls. These are all from beautiful. the board, the, what we call the Torres Strait. Uh, is where these pearls are coming from. And the Torres Straits are the waters in the north of, uh, north of Australia, between uh, Indonesia and Australia, um, uh, where the Indian Ocean collides with the Pacific Ocean. They have this massive amount of water exchange, which makes it so nutrient-rich for the, the pearls to, to live off, and so the oysters to live off and, and produce these amazing pearls. And I love these Baroque pearls. And these pearls have grown in much deeper water. So they've been much deeper down in the water where, um, the, uh, where the, there's much less food for the oyster. So the metabolism of the oyster, it slows down, right down. It grows very, very slow. Mm. But because it's far away from the sun and the surface, there's much less algae, much, le much less bacteria, mm -hmm. much less seaweed. So the pearls grow far finer uh, in quality. Uh, because they've got less nasties, basically, but they are slightly smaller. And these pearls, you might say, are slightly smaller, but they still look like big, sizable pearls. They do, and don't they? And they're just fabulous sort of individual So gems. a slower growing, but much superior, much finer pearl that you're going to be getting. How, how long would these have taken to grow? Still, um, still three, two and a half years, these. Uh, they are absolutely... Them all out, they look even more cool. They do, don't they? They really, really do. It's a lot of pearls. That is a, a huge amount of pearls in this offering that we're that we're giving you today. Um, you are going to be getting two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, a dozen of some of the finest, some of the finest. Yeah, you don't hear that. South Sea pearls. You hear half a dozen eggs. You don't hear a dozen. A dozen, dozen pearls. A dozen pearls. Mark, wow, wow, wow. That's a stunning piece of jewellery with gorgeous pearls. You should be very proud of that bracelet. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. I think it's I think it's up there with some of the best pieces that you've made. I had intended just to use one 
pearl. And I thought, Ooh. no. <laughs> I, I had three that were perfectly colour matched, so I thought, oh, I'm going to use all three. And, and I think you should celebrate that. I think yeah. if you have got three, which are, yeah. I mean, yeah. and they are beautifully colour matched, I think yeah. you absolutely should do. Charlie, what's the best way to clean golden pearls after wearing, says Sandy? Um, Sandy, they won't really, they won't really require uh, cleaning. The only thing you can do is give it a, a wipe with the slightest bit damp cloth and then dry it off. Um, I always say dry it off right away. It's more because I say that to cover myself when, with stringing. You don't want to get the string in pearls wet too much just because it's just, you know, like mm -hmm. a, it's material. Um, but the pearls, yeah, just give them a, a wipe with a slightly damp cloth and then wipe it off and they're good to go. We have already got so many in baskets and so many people with multiples in their baskets, people with twos, with three packs of these in their baskets. This is fantastic. We are getting people checking out so far. I, 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 I've, I, to be able to value each one of these pearls as an individual, I find almost, I find almost impossible. They've all got their merits. Would it be 200 pounds a pearl? Would it be, would it be more than that? Would it be less than that? Baskets are, ab I can t the amount that we've got in baskets shows me and is proving that you want this deal. And in 60 seconds time, you are going to have a chance to get this at our start price. This is going to be a journey that we're all going on today and that we're all going to be, and we're all going to be going on together. Your parcel, your offering is going to be unique to you as unique as your fingerprints, your dozen pearls. Look at that gorgeous platinum one at the front there. Isn't that just exceptional? Amazing. Just beautiful. Your parcel is going to be unique to you. These have all been selected. They are the highest, highest caliber of your, of your gorgeous uh, Baroque South Sea pearls here with mixed colors, with mixed shapes. Um, you will find some of them will match almost perfectly. You will find some of them which look, literally look as different as day and night. And that's the exciting thing. 16 seconds and we're going to be giving you your start price. This is a start price. This is not where we're going to finish. And I don't think Charlie is, is, is privy to where we're actually going to be finishing today. But this is your start price. <laughs> the process, the years of process, the metabolism of the oyster slowing right down to create one of the most beautiful, one of the finest quality pearls that money can buy. And I think already at 199 pounds, 99 pence, we are already at the kind of price point where people are just, yeah, I'm just going to get them. I'm just going to get them. They are absolutely superb. We are no way near our price point today. I, I, a particular favourite to me, and this is just my personal preference, are uh, um, there's a there's an absolutely exquisite one here. I love, I love that ivory tone. Just incredible. But you might find that you love the kind of oval shaped ones more. You might find that you love the um, uh, you love the whiter ones, the silvery ones. So if you can feel. If you can multi-buy today, please do. Please do get two, get three, get four packs. Jenny's just bought three loads. Pamela's just got two of these. Well done to you as well. Two packs of these. That's wonderful to see. And you can make that informed choice. But to be able to work with this, to have access to this, and as, and as Charlie quite rightly said, you know, this is going to give access to people to start working with pearls who maybe have never worked with this incredible organic gem before. Okay. Now, what are we going to do, uh, Tom? Another clock. I can't decide. I can't decide how. It, 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 with, with, with pearls of this kind of caliber, are you going to be going for macrame like Mark has done and make that exceptional uh, piece of jewelry? Are you going to be making it into a selection of necklaces, uh, pendants, and earrings? Are you going to be um, incorporating it with other stones? I love it with this black onyx. I think it would look equally as good with something maybe like a malachite as well. If you wanted to do your gorgeous um, um, uh, wire caging with your malachite as well. Gabrielle's come through. Well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through and trusting us today. This is an opportunity like no other it's and never you'll never have an opportunity like this again to buy a, we've never done a 12 pearl parcel ever unbelievable goodness me with all these fabulous pearls it's completely extraordinary and i love it when you're saying there i didn't want to interrupt you because it's mm. lovely but you're saying 
Um, I love this pearl, I love that pearl. If you took 10 people, everyone would have a different opinion. Absolutely. And everyone loves something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it's great if you're making jewelry, you can start, you can make six pairs of earrings or 12 pendants or mm. four of these bangles or, you know, so much you can do. It's quite amazing. I think as well, one of the huge benefits for me with a bundle like this, with a, well, I don't want to call it a bundle, with an incredible parcel like this, is that all the pearls are through drilled. We've been, we've been seeing a lot of the half drill pearls, which are absolutely beautiful and, 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 and wonderful to work with, but them being through drilled makes them even more usable. It's allowed Mark to make um, uh, this incredible, well, all of the incredible pieces, but um, especially this incredible macrame um, uh, precious metal bracelet, because they are through drilled. They're ready to go, they're ready to use, they're ready to set um, however you want to use them. So there's a huge benefit there of these being through drilled as well. And I thank you for that, um, uh, Charlie, because I know it's not the easiest thing to be able to drill, uh, to be able to drill pearls, whether it's half drilling or through drilling. So many in baskets. This is crazy. We're at 119 pounds and 99 pence. We're currently at 10 pounds per pearl. 10 pounds per pearl. Bristol, Cumbria, Essex, East Sussex, uh, Bedfordshire, Middlesex, Carmarthenshire, Berkshire, Hertfordshire, Staffordshire, Kent. Maker, you've got three in your basket. Devon, you've got three in your basket. Gail in the West Midlands, well done to you. Two in your baskets. Uh, well done to all of you uh, who are coming through to get these. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. How would you feel today if I was to say to you, because we do have such a big quantity, that you are going to be able to get 12 mixed shape and colour South Sea pearls for under £100. <laughs> if I was still selling, if I was still selling mm. with the, the, the type of products that, that we can now bring, especially this type of pearl, that pendant next to you, with the, so it's a sterling silver chain, sterling silver head pin, and we've got two zircon either side, Ratnakiri zircon, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. those are the best. Mm. I would have that on my stand for £75. And that's just huge. And that's one. one. Without a doubt. That's one. Full description where it came from, the whole story. We're currently at really £10 pounds a pearl. £75 any day of the week. And I'm and sure Anne, who we mentioned earlier, in-house designer Anne, who, mm. who has just come back from the Malvern show, where mm. she had her pearl stall, mm -hmm. had an amazing weekend. And, and people just love individual solitary pearls like this. And to be able to use ingredients like this these aren't any ingredients that you're using in your jewelry making these are the, the best best quality the best quality ingredients the best ingredients that money can buy and some of the quickest makes that you will i mean take your time obviously but some of the quickest jewelry ever um that is that is such a fantastic return <laughs> 79 pounds and 99 pence for a dozen South Sea pearls of this caliber. The phone lines and the web have absolutely erupted. Charlie, I know that you can you can work out the maths, but it's six sixty six per pearl. Thinking, it's actually kind of amazing value if you could buy that pendant for seventy five pounds. That it's handmade, everything that's going yes. to it. But mm. not and but the pearls are so extraordinary. That mm -hmm. I hate talking about price because. The value of what we're selling them for is so irrelevant. So far small, removed. Yes. Yeah. It's just nuts. But if you if you if you if you go to a stall and you go to someone's stand or whatever, I've never been to anything like this, I don't understand it. But and someone said, I've got this pearl, it's from the northwest coast of north coast of Australia yes. in the border waters and explain how they're formed, how they're formed in deeper water because they're, you know, better quality, finer pearls, so much love, energy has yeah. gone into it you know, how it takes a kilometre squared of ocean floor going up and down, mopping the floor to, with divers to find the shell. Then you've got three years mm. of producing the single pearl. You're chipping the barnacles off it every day. Just the pearl at £75 yes. is Absolutely. actually amazing yes. value. It's extraordinary. It's just you're buying them at an insane opportunity price that's never happening again. I'm not doing this again. It's just nuts. Um, but um, uh, it's sorry. incredible. And for that £75, how much of it's silver and, and, and the mm -hmm. little stone? How exactly. much is it, would you say, the cost of those? Oh, gosh. Well, I mean, the, the, the chain would probably be £10, I would have thought. Mm. And a strand, a strand of Zircon was £20. And I've used the whole two strand. of those. You've used two. You've used two. Used so two. it's, so it's two pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My goodness yeah. Me. So it's two pounds of Zerka, so it's 12 pounds. So yeah. if you, even if you round it up, it's still amazing value mm. for the pearl. Yes, yes, yes. 
And, and look at the earrings. I know, the earrings, the earrings absolutely are absolutely superb. Awesome. And when you talk about the extreme, the extreme conditions in which these mollusks exist to, to kind of grow these pearls slowly and beautifully, and it brings to mind uh, when they talk about um, a different flora and fauna, uh, which are grown at altitude, i.e., you know, extreme circumstances, in extreme kind of environments. And the flavour and the colour is that much more concentrated because of the air, it's purer. It's, it's, it, and, and what you've got here is this purity of pearl. It's absolutely superb at 79.99. Because we have, and it's only because, and it's only because we have got this quantity, we are going to take the price down again. And the reason why we stopped at 79.99 is just to stagger the phone calls going through the call center, just to stagger the sales going through on the web, we are going to be taking that price point down again. Are you okay with that, Charlie? Not really. <laughs> Slightly awkward. But you can do it anyway, so let's just do it. Rip the plaster off. Oh, so no. would, would Charlie prefer to see his pearl set in silver or gold? Do you have a preference for metal? Or platinum. I think they should be all being gold, but I understand that it opens up a market for mm. them to be in yeah. silver. Absolutely. And I would always say gold, but then looking at your bracelet kind of changes my <laughs> right. mind. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's it, isn't it? It's just yeah. incredible. $79.99, not your price point today. We're just going to be doing this. Okay, this is giving you access to one of the finest, most exclusive parcels of pearls we have ever bought to air, we have ever bought to Jewelry Maker, and a one-off opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Charlie, you're going to have to look away because the price we are doing these for today is utterly ridiculous. It's yours for £49.99. pence. Oh, my. Anyone who's bought two, you're going to want four. Anyone who's bought four, you're going to want to buy six loads of these. You I'll are looking ten. at £4.16 per South Sea Pearl, making this pair of earrings about £10 to make. Oh, my goodness me. It's yours today. For the, the phone and the web have gone absolutely berserk. This bracelet here, 12 pounds worth of pearls. Not what they're worth, but in this, in this particular parcel. Not what they're worth, uh, but what they are working out to in this parcel. And some sterling silver. For me, Mark, I mean, I know you would, you would come out with a very conservative price point. But for me, this sterling silver Ratnakiri Zircon South Sea Pearl precious metal bracelet, this for me is three, four hundred pounds worth of bracelet right here. And that would, and that's pricing it to sell. That's pricing it to sell. Lorna's has got five loads of these. Well done to you. It is absolutely flying out the door. It is incredible what we're doing for you today. Um, I've, I've just said three, four hundred pounds for this bracelet for me, for me, uh, uh, pricing it to sell. Not what I think it's worth, not what I think it would retail for, not what I think that it would be valued at, but pricing it to sell with all the information, with all of the with all of the, the passion, you know, Charlie's passion impressed on, 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 on you and you bringing these. This is access like nothing we have ever done before. We have never given you access like this before. And this surpasses pretty much any, any pearl deal we have ever done with Charlie before. This is the biggest offering we have ever made to you before uh, with, for, for these absolutely exceptional, unique, once in a lifetime opportunities. Caroline, you've got six in your basket. If you want six, my lovely, you're going to have to check out now. They are flying out the door. Anyone who's got any questions, any, this is, and also you're going to be seeing Mark using these very pearls in about half an hour's time when we dive into our first demonstration of the show. Um, it's amazing you can get them home for basically a pound a pearl. <laughs> Isn't that nuts? Yes. And let's say... You're making money by buying. It's so easy. We have to travel to the other side of the world to make precisely. money Precisely. You can just sit there and you're literally making money. You imagine this as well, Charlie. You get these pearls home for £16.66 today. You make one of Mark's bracelets. Let's say it doesn't take you 45 minutes. Let's say it takes you two days to make this bracelet. By the time it comes to paying your second split payment, you will have sold this for more than the price, for, for many, 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 many times more. You it's, could even say 10 times you know, more if, than if the I, price you paid today. If I was a pearl today. dealer, I'd buy 50, 58 lots or whatever. 
and then you've sold them before you've even paid for them. You're absolutely right. No, in no other business does anyone give you that. And this year, this year, there's so many weddings taking place that have been postponed yes. from the past two years. Yeah. That if you're if you're making bridal commissions, South Sea Pearl bridal South jewelry. South Sea I mean, imagine. Pearl <laughs> yeah. jewelry. I mean, imagine this bracelet on all the bridesmaids' wrists. Absolutely. The pearl earrings, all the bridesmaids. You know, in with South Sea yeah. pearls, yeah. South Sea pearls, mm. and they get to keep them afterwards. Yeah. You know, they don't have to rent them from a jeweller. You know, like many celebrities will do it, you know, big red carpet events, they will rent the jewellery and, and then give it back. You know, it's it literally followed by a security guard. What you have got here today, you can keep. You can keep this. That's the best part of it. You're absolutely right, Mark. This isn't some... Uh, but but entrust, it, entrust it to future generations. It's estate jewellery. I think whatever you make with this, whether it's macrame, whether you set it with gold, platinum, whatever you do with this you are going to be entrusting this to the next generation. What does the, um, the gold bracelet look on the wrist? Is the, I think that's a magnetic clasp I've popped in. Oh, yeah. is it? Oh, well done. see that. Fantastic. I love this. This, is, um, this reminds me of some of the... I always make my yeah, bracelets pieces, far actually. too big. <laughs> Say again. I always make my bracelets far too... Because I use my wrist as a template. That's all right, Levy. I've just got sparrows. You do them at eight, in, eight inches. Hmm? Eight inches. Seven, seven, my. Oh, uh, this I, is I, I, slight, I think that's slightly longer, isn't it? Look at that! Look at that! And you could put any any yeah. gemstone in there. I mean, I, I mean, I suggested malachite earlier on, just because of you know some of the gorgeous Piaget pieces that you see with the gorgeous malachite. But that isn't that. Mm. Isn't what that I stunning? noticed um, with this particular bracelet so is I'm using bright, vivid gold wire. Mm -hmm. I'm using the most extraordinary, sparkly, faceted black onyx. Mm -hmm. But the pearls. Are head and shoulders above. That, you only look at the pearls, don't you? They're, they're so amazing quality. It's fantastic. That, that's all you look at. You don't look at the, the onyx in between. Are the, are the, are the, um, the beads drilled through? Yes. And then you just wrap around the edge. Yeah, so I make the little And cave. then you solder them. No, no, no solder. That's, that's all. You don't use solder? No, no. How do you get it to stay? Oh, you just wrap it tight on the ends. Yeah. You're smart. Wow. So it's a, wrapped, it's a wrap loop. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, Super. Rat loop. That's not a very sexy name. <laughs> I know, yes. Oh. Uh, morning, lovely to see you all. Just tuned in and saw the bracelet. Oh my goodness, it's stunning, so perfect. And the pearls are beautiful, says Elaine. Yeah, Mark, you've got to um, uh, demonstrate this macrame bracelet in the 11. You have to, you have to. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, the voters, people have been voting as well today. They've been sending in messages. Um, this is absolutely incredible. Isn't that just beautiful? It's just, it's just, just stunning. And baskets are absolutely stacked them. Isn't that beautiful? Go and on, Charlie, pop earrings. it on. I love the earrings. Yes, they would make lovely earrings. And it gives the illusion that they're held in there by that, by that gemstone cage, uh, sorry, by that wire work caging. But in actual fact, you've got the, you, you've yeah. got the anchor point of the... It's, of it's the rosary linking. It's, I yes, mean, the, the yes pearls, rosary linking, the, exactly. These pearls warrant rosary linking of any description. Yes. Which is I mean. rosary linking, so what's rosary? The, the little this sections, that the, the, um, the little loops and oh, yeah. rosary yeah. linking. As you would on a, yeah. as you would get on a rosary chain. I think we're going to convert Charlie to be, into being a jewelry maker here. I mean, I actually worked at the bench manufacturing jewelry for a year mm. in Bangkok. We worked in a, wow. in a factory that makes for the biggest jewelers in the world. Mm -hmm. But it's it's very different type of jewelry with mm. a lot of tools and a lot of. It's just not it's not homemade. Put it like that. Yes. This is just amazing that it's done like that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's just a way of it bringing your pearls into jewellery making, which is what we're all about, isn't it? Yeah, it's we amazing. Because be, I reckon there are lots of people out there who have bought your pearls who have, who have not done anything with them yet. They've just not had the confidence to make jewellery with them. And that's, that's what, a good that's point, actually, to have the confidence yeah. of using them. Yeah. Because they are so special. Baskets at the minute are so stacked. Um, Elaine, Virginia, Lynette, Anne, Heather, Janet, Doreen, Caroline, you've still got four in your basket, my lovely. Joanne, Janice, Lynn, Janet, David, Donna, Judith... There are so many people there. Huge congratulations to everybody who has already come through. There are significant queues on the phone lines at the minute, but our call centre are doing their best to work their way through the calls. Uh, but huge congratulations to absolutely everyone. Um, incredible. Well done. That, that is an opportunity you will never forget. There are a few chances left. And what we will do is, because Mark is going to be using this in the 11 o'clock hour, um, we will be recapping this in the 11 o'clock hour. Morning all. Charlie Baron Pell, simply the best. Say no more. There you go. That's quite a macro. Thank you, Linda. There you are, Linda. 
Gorgeous, $49.99. Well done, huge congratulations. Uh, we need a wall of fame just for Charlie's oh, polls yeah. so he can see what we do with them. Yes, yes. do you know what? Do you know what? Next time, nice next time Charlie's with us, like, that is a brilliant mm. idea, actually. What is a wall of fame? Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I love that. I love this. <laughs> so, Wall of Fame is where people enter a competition every week. They take a photograph of something that they've made using jewellery maker items. We show all the we show all the pieces of jewellery, and then every week you can either win fifty pounds or a hundred pounds credited to your jewellery maker account. Wow! So it's all picked at random. Are these so beautiful so? pieces. Uh, Sharon created this piece using um, uh, sea beads. Uh, what so are sea beads? Really, really beautiful. They're like really small beads, like, like what like Mark's going to be using tube. in the twelve o'clock hour. Little. So they're really small, oh. uh, delicate little uh, And why are they beads. called sea beads? It would, have it would have taken hours and hours and hours to make that. That's really crazy, well. isn't it? It's bonkers. Mm. Bonkers. Mm. One more strand. I'm not sure I've got the strand here, actually, Libby. Uh, I will get it for you. I can see it hiding in the corner. Ooh. Oh. Right, this next strand is... This next strand is Ollie's favourite strand. It's Tom's favourite strand. It's Mark's favourite strand. <laughs> And it's my favourite strand. This is the only strand of South Sea pearls we have today. Wow. Just. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> and these are from that same location. Stunning and super, super bright pearls. They're just fantastic, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> So I don't know what I'd do with these. Would I separate the colours or would I keep them? No, I think I'd love keep it. Keep them random, would you? It depends. If you're making jewellery, then maybe. Oh, I guess yes. I haven't really thought about yeah. it. Maybe you could separate the colours or you oh, could do I'd them sort of mismatched. Mm. I just love it the way it is. I would actually just buy two and make a necklace. Yes, yes. Just buy two and make a rope. And actually, it's, yeah, this is, yeah, if you had two, you could make a beautiful necklace. Greens, champagnes. Golds. Golds. Blues. Silver pearls, silver pearls of a bluish overtone, silver pearls of a lavender overtone, you've got white pearls of a pinkish overtone, you've got golden pearls of a green overtone, golden pearls of a orange overtone, and a, with a pink overtone. You've really got it all here. Look at that one, wow. I know. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, they, they are incredible absolutely pearls. Absolutely superb. The, the, do you know it's not doing it just in real life? They are even more vibrant, aren't they? Yeah. On 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 screen, unfortunately, I don't feel the colours are coming across as best as they could. Even on the recording, I don't feel the colours are coming off, um, across as best as they could. In real life, they are. Yeah, pistachio green. That's exactly it, Ollie. That, that's pistachio exactly green. The colour. Yeah, exactly. They're stunning. I love them. How many of these do we have, Tom? Less than. Less than 50. I'm amazed we've got more than like three of these. Julie's already come through. Um, I don't know how to, I don't know how to value these. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know because they are, they, the colour, the vividness, the gemminess, the quality you are getting here is absolutely exceptional. Right, £1,999.99, pence. not your price. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Charlie is fascinated with Mark's jewelry. I'm <laughs> loving watching Mark. <laughs> it's just great. Wow. What are you doing, Mark? Can you talk us through it? I am just preparing for my demo. I'm just threading the pearls onto my gold wire. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Okay, so they're ready prepped. And Beautiful. Then I, need, then I need to decide around which position I'm going to pop on my zircons. So. I'm a massive fan of Zircon. Oh, we, had, we had this strand on the show a couple of weeks ago, and I'm, I'm a massive hoarder. I buy lots and lots and lots and <laughs> lots of strands because I get to work with jewellery maker kits as my job, you see. All of my strands I hoard, and, um, and I bought five of this particular strand. Did you? Just to it sit is and, exceptional, just to sit and look isn't it? At, and it's, just, it's the perfect partner for the... Um, it really the is. Yeah. You're great. <laughs> I love you. You're just wonderful. I love that. You're just oh. fantastic. Um, amazing. Okay, so we've got so many people coming through to get these. Okay, uh, right, we're going to have to get this down to it. Yeah, come on, Neri. This is incredible. I absolutely love this. 25 pearls, absolutely beautiful. Again, from that the Torres Strait location, super, super fine pearls. A cut above the rest. Just 
gorgeous. And these are the super bright ones. And if you really look at these, you'll realize you can't get a better luster than these. Mm. And they're all these incredible, incredible colors. That is really green, that pearl. Isn't it? It's completely green. This one. This one mm -hmm. is green, green. But yeah. the luster is another level. Yes. You can't get a better luster than this. And I'm just going to take a single Go sheet of it. your paper. Please do. And see if we can try and show what these oh. pearls look like a little bit oh. more. Yeah, actually, that's really working. Look at that. <gasps> oh, my. What? Look, look, at look at that them, look green. At them in the, look at them in the shade. Do you see? Yes. So even in Most the shade, definitely. they're super bright. There's greens, there's blues, <gasps> there's lavenders. There's all these incredible colours. And if you let the lights on them, look how bright they are. They're just absolutely incredible. Gorgeous, gorgeous pearls. Now, I can't believe we're about to do this, um, but um, apparently we can do this. I've got... Amazing. I don't know how. You can buy two and make a beautiful necklace. Most definitely. But 25 pearls <gasps> is amazing. They are exceptional. They glow. They, they absolutely glow. Glowing. Do. They're absolutely glowing. Mm. That is beautiful. Lots and lots. Of, Julie's already bought three. Angela, you've got two there. Jenny, maker, well done. I think. I don't think people are thinking that we're going to be able to take this much lower than four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Oh, just you wait. Just wait because the deal we're about to show you is exceptional. Again, can I please <clears throat> urge you to put these in your baskets? We had. We bought you so many wonderful deals today. What? To where, sorry? Okay, if you want to do that, you can, Neri. Okay, you might get Charlie being rather upset about, okay. Just do it, rip the plaster off, we've only got No, but when you say that, you've, he is going low, he is going really low. Just do it, I've, I've already had enough today. <laughs> I'm dying already, it's fine. Okay. It, we're we're is... loving life. We're looking at the most beautiful pearls imaginable. It's all from what are you thinking? Buy them all. Buy as many Buy as them you humanly all. possibly can. These are the brightest, the best of the best. Super, super bright luster. Absolutely incredible. Look at them on the wrist here now. <gasps> Look at them when you can see the whole thing on the paper. It's just wonderful, absolutely beautiful, fantastic Nine. pearls. Buy two and you've bought yourself a pearl necklace with 50 Baroque South Sea <laughs> naturally coloured pearls. You'll be having 50 pearls for £200. Unbelievable, four pounds 99. a pearl. There's no such thing as better value. You're absolutely right. These are Eight pounds flying pearl, out the door. They are in... Absolutely that is That is, that is, that is. Extraordinary. Um, congratulations if you're watching this and you're this, loving life. This pearl alone, this pearl alone, Charlie, is worth, it's waiting for Michael to get, come on, Michael. 100 pounds. Come on, Michael. This pearl here is worth, is worth that on its own. I think so. I think they're beautiful. Incredible. Okay, we are majorly over-allocated. Uh, Juliet, Jenny, David, Karen, Julie. Oh, gosh, there's, there's so many in baskets. We've got 30, 40, 50 in baskets. We've only got nine chances remaining. Huge congratulations. That is absolutely tremendous. I, 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 don't, know, I, I, I don't know how that can be done. That there. Beautiful. That's a £100 pearl right there for me. Okay, yeah, the computer can't actually catch up. There are so many people there. That's pretty much gone. Well done. I can't believe we've done that. That is the most un-99.99 looking strand of pearls I've ever seen. I had to buy two of these. Knotted into a necklace will be exquisite. Thank you so much, Charlie, says Amanda. Oh, thank you so much, Amanda. It's going to look absolutely incredible. Good luck with the knotting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real art, isn't it, pearl knotting, Charlie? Um... Ow, fallen on the floor, but only after they were checked out, says Alison. Yes! Is it, do they have a hand drill at home? Uh, yes, like some, a, yes, some people... Do you call them a pencil drill? Uh, oh, yes, so I mean? it'll have like a burr on it, yes. What's behind you, uh, your head? That's a Dremel. Oh. The Dremel uh, but, but, tool, yeah. but yes, you can do pearl drilling yeah. with... with you a, can, we've right? We've got pearl drilling tips. You yeah. could, if you drill a tiny notch into the hole, like a, like a, like a dent into the hole with a a piece like this and you just make it slightly smaller you can tie the knots very tight and hide the knot 
in the between the pearls. Ooh. And then rather than having it as a sort of a string that's floppy, it will hold more of a structure. And that's how we string all of ours. We do it for cart we do it for lots of jewelers. And it's, we all do it the same like that now, and it's much... Uh, so you create a little, almost like a, uh, it's a like, cup. It's like it's almost got metal wire going yeah. through it. It's much more solid structure. Yes. Um, and it's a real touch if you, if you have a little drill like that. It needs just the tiniest dent. So we do pearl drills with little, uh, bur almost a like burr. a burr on the end of it. That would, that would give you that. What's We've it? never seen that on the show before. I, I'll bring you an example one day. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Mm. There you go. But that's that's the, that's the that's the top level of drilling and uh, of stringing. Yes. That's when it's like next level. Gosh. Okay. Um, right. This is described wow, as. Wow! Look at that. That's that is, described that as a the, teardrop pearl. Is that right? That is the perfect pearl. That it is really is, not isn't a it? Teardrop. No. But it's the perfect pearl. I, mm, I'm not sure this is the right one. It probably no. is. Well, mm. But it's just white teardrops. South Sea. Single I think they just mean pendant pearl mm. because it is a 10 millimeter pearl and it is absolutely oh. gorgeous and I am completely obsessed with it. That is beautiful. It, it comes with a sterling silver uh, bale as well. So simple, so clean. Um, that surface. Yeah, I <laughs> know. Is it, isn't it just gorgeous? It's, it, it's flawless, Mark, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Wow. Wow. Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love it. The bale Very, right very in. large pearl, that one. It's stunning, a perfect pearl. <gasps> and how would you describe that colour? Uh, that is the perfect colour. That's what like you're whitey. kind of aiming for. It's, I call it, I just call it perfect colour. It's what made Australian pearls sort of famous. Mm -hmm. It's a pure white with a bluish pinkish overtone. It's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Shall I move it back a bit? Can we see it? Yeah, that really is. That really... That really Look is. Look at the surface of that. If you zoom in, it's what we call near flawless. Uh, can we zoom in? Yeah, look, we can actually get right in. Oh yeah. my word. Can you see it? Pearls sometimes are actually really difficult to film yeah. because, because they're, they're very because difficult. They're so reflective. They're, they're so, the, the reason is, is because of the luster and it's because of the structure of the pearl. These pearls are made up of millions and millions of layers of calcium mm -hmm. carbonate and aragonite, which is stacked in this specific crystalline structure. And when we talk about luster, we mean that the, with the word luster, the road is matte and has no luster. But the car door, when polished, has a very high reflective, vitreous luster, you could say. Mm -hmm. With the pearl, it's actually very different because the pearl is, is an opaque object, which means light can't pass through it. But the individual layers are translucent, which means light does penetrate them. And so when you see the pearl reflection, you're actually looking, because the outer layers are, individual layers are translucent, you're actually seeing inside the pearl oh, a few layers. Light penetrating into so the pearl. So that's why when sometimes these pearls are filmed, it looks like there's a sort of a pearl within the pearl. And it's... And because of that, the glow it feels and it looks like it's coming out from within because Absolutely. it actually is coming out from within the pearl. So that extreme, extraordinary brightness is Look beaming out literally from within. And that's why pearls are so special and so beautiful. It's that incredible luster that just beams out from within the pearl. 79.99. Julie's bought three. Sandy, Florence, Sean. Incredible pearl. You get a pair of earrings and a pendant. Good idea, mm. Julie. Absolutely. Most definitely. Well, actually, you get three pendants because it comes with the bale. Mm, yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. You could easily make that uh, fashion the uh, bale into a, um, 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 a drop for an earring, though. You absolutely could do. Yeah. Florence, well done to you. Patricia, just stunning. Well done. £79.99. pence. Maker in Surrey, well done to you. Uh, this, is, this is about to sell out, just to let you know. We've hardly got any of these available. Um, I can imagine these pearls here, they're, they're not ten a penny, are they? These are extraordinarily rare pearls that you're looking at here because of that surface, that size, that shape, all of those factors which you've mentioned throughout the show today, Charlie. Gorgeous. Wow. That's sold out. Amazing. Another thing I've always wondered is that mm -hmm. these mollusks, they, they have grit Oysters. for the irritant, but then they, they put the nacre over to make mm. the... Why, in all the millions and millions and millions of years of evolution, hasn't the mollusk learned to eject the irritant? It does. Oh, it does? That's the whole point. The whole point is to eject it. 
That's why we only grow them for three years. Right. Otherwise, we'd grow them for four and make right. bigger pearls. Okay. Right. So that's the, that's the exact reason. Uh, um, oh, they, wow. they will eventually spit the pearl out. And right. so we're trying oh, to do it before. That. That's why when we open the oysters, there's often no pearl. Because oh. they spat it out? Quite literally. Oh, my. They aren't that. conscious. <laughs> they have no consciousness. No. But they do, yeah. Amazing, that's incredible. Isn't it? Ah. So when it's big enough, when the pearl is big enough, they... they, they They're always trying to do it. They could do it after a month. They could do it after five years. They could do it after two. You just don't right. know. But mm. we feel like we've got the perfect balance. Yeah. Perfect timing. Oh. Colour. <laughs> Incredible. That's a blue pearl. Described as that's plat a natural platinum colour blue. Blue pearl. Is this a, this isn't a South Sea pearl, yeah. is it? Is this it? Is a South I didn't sea even pearl. I didn't know they came in Very this. Very rare, this but colour. it's absolutely a South Sea pearl. And this oh. is an Australian West Whoa. Coast pearl. I love the shape of this. Isn't that exceptional? And that's naturally coloured. It comes out of the oyster looking just <gasps> like this. And that's a perfect wow. pebble shaped pearl. That is absolutely Absolutely beautiful. Drill holes just at the top there. That is incredible. Yeah, maybe let's let's try. Let's try. Let's see. This colour is absolutely. <laughs> oh my word! Whoa! Pure blue. It's a turquoise blue. It's really like the ocean. Mm -hmm. A platinum pearl, pearl with a turquoise blue is extremely rare. I love that surface. And that's naturally coloured. That's come out of the ocean looking just like that. It's incredible. Look at the, almost like a, gr a greenish kind of, well, turquoise, as you say, turquoise. The turquoise um, hue to yes. the, tone to the blue. Oh, that is an except. I think that's probably one of my favourite pearls that we've had today, actually. Yeah. I, I, this is mm. exceptional. This is an exceptional piece. Um, we can't have many of these. Of single figures. OK, um, 30 second clock. This is... This for me is, it reminds me a little bit of the um, beautiful um, clasps that you, um, that you manufacture, Charlie, that go on your necklaces. Uh, well, I actually don't make them. They're made by a guy called Carl from Stuttgart oh, in Germany. Oh, this is the guy you met in the... Sauna. In the sauna? But it's a co-ed sauna. Everyone's like, oh, it's a sauna. It's like, <laughs> there's everyone. It's like there's a lot of people in the sauna. It's, it's in Hong Kong. It's okay. Like, I don't know if we'll ever go back to Hong Kong. It's a tragedy, the whole of Hong Kong. But... Um, yeah, we did really did meet there, and we met amazing people there. That's where I met Jake and um, Steve. Oh, was it? Yeah, not in the sauna. No, I was going to say not in the sauna. <laughs> <But> in the <laughs> same building. Okay, we, we, met at we had teppanyaki in the restaurant. Oh, nice. Together. Nice. Which is my favourite, which I'm dying for again. Oh, teppanyaki is so good, isn't it? It's just gorgeous. Mm. Such a fun, sociable way of eating, isn't it? It's just, it's, it, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. Um, 79.99. Just thinking about Steve and Jake in a sauna. Right. Okay. <laughs> 79.99. Uh, Gail, Gabrielle, Lorna, Julie, you've got to. I, I think that is, yeah. for me, it is. It, it bears no, and, and, and we've said this so much today. It bears no relevance to what. This would be, I valued at or, or or would retail for. Look at the oh, look at the size. It's incredible, isn't it? That's beautiful. Do you want to know? It's really off topic. Amazing thing about Jake and Steve, they walk to the North Pole. I know. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> isn't that amazing? <laughs> Sorry, it's such a side. All in the name of science, though. <laughs> Not really. Well, they and they do and. <laughs> Was it? I had nothing to do with I think so, yeah. And then they did. No, it didn't. It, he asked to marry his daughter and he said, only if you walk to the North Pole with me. <laughs> really? Yeah. There's nothing mm. okay. to do with it. Does he tell you it's about science? <laughs> That's nonsense. <laughs> nothing to do with science. <laughs> That's absolute rubbish. Um, and they did the zero calorie um, bike ride. Oh, yeah. Didn't they? Jake nearly died. <laughs> 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 he had to stop in the early. Oh, I wouldn't have lasted 10 minutes. I'm such a hungry person, I'm constantly eating. <laughs> what? You've really made me laugh today. It's so funny. That's absolute rubbish. I just love it. Well, it wasn't science, the North Pole, was it? Uh, no, well, well, I don't, that's what I thought, but clearly not. No. <clears throat> Breaking news from Charlie Barron today. <laughs> Thank God I'm leaving today. <laughs> after, I, I, every day I go, I always say the wrong thing. And after about three months, because I never go back to the same place, after three months, it's all blown over and everyone's forgotten. <laughs> everyone's forgotten. <laughs> and that's why I keep travelling. <laughs> Just run from one place to the next. <laughs> yes. Man on the run. Right. Well done. What a beautiful One opportunity well. left. Uh, we've got five people with that in baskets. Stunning. Oh, Charlie, I've enjoyed today's show tremendously. Thank you so much. Um, 
we're going to finish off with this incredible. Why didn't green. we start with this? This incredible piece. Jesus, why didn't we start Look with at that? the greens. Oh my word. That, that's, that, that is the best uh, luster and colour of t shirt pearl you can buy. Oh my word. Does not get better than that. Is this the last pearl of the day? Oh my gosh, that's sad. It is. Isn't, isn't that it? incredible? That is absolutely Can we beautiful. try with the paper? Yes, please. Just to show it off. Trusty wow. paper. Isn't that just incredible. I love this pearl. Okay, go on. You do what you need to do with that. It's, it's round, so it's going to roll all over the place. Isn't that just... Ooh, Am I right at thinking pearls bounce? Am I right at Yeah, 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 they're bounce? totally good. Everyone always gets worried. They go, ooh, a pearl's soft. And in my office, I just throw one over my shoulder. <gasps> and they all freak no. out. <laughs> no, you can't really see. Ooh. It's the air conditioning. It's coming through. It's blowing the paper. Ooh. Apologies. And the pearl is perfectly round, so it rolls absolutely straight. Do you see that? Yeah. Isn't that perfect? perfect. So, that you can kind of see it. It's got this amazing green body with this pure pinkish aubergine that just beams out from mm. within. Mm. What a wonderful, wonderful pearl. This is a specimen of a pearl, a perfect round pearl. 85% of all these pearls are eight millimeters or under, which means that being over nine millimeters puts you in the top 15%, which being an 11 millimeter, it would be the top, you know, 4% probably. Um, so it's a very, very special pearl indeed. Being that, being perfectly round, only less than half the pearls are round, so you're in the top 2%. And then of those, most don't look like this. So you're really in the top 1% of Tahitian pearls right here, right now. It is drilled, isn't it? Is it drilled? Half drilled. Half drilled, yes. Is it? No, it's... It doesn't say that it is. It's undrilled. Is it undrilled? It's absolutely undrilled. And honestly, I wouldn't drill it. No. 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 I would leave it undrilled and I would take advice from the wonderful Mark and maybe wrap it in some wine. Well, you see the Mark bracelet. Mark show, Mark bracelet. show you how to do yeah. it. The gold bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually caged the bead and I've also taken wire through the black mm -hmm. onyx. Mm -hmm. um, you could do that without the wire going up. You can yes, make the cage just definitely. to hold the pearl. Quite easily. We, would you, um, this is a great thing you guys should try. Actually, maybe I shouldn't say that because it's a copyright, but we do this thing called a Lavalier oh, in Australia. Nesting? And it's like, a, it's like a, the way they used to tie boys, a yes. boys yes. like the floating the balls, mm. the net that they used to mm -hmm. tie around those boys. That's a macrame technique. You can technique. do that in, with macrame. In, yeah, yeah. You could do it with chain. Oh. And then you could open it and then drop the pearl in and then tighten the cord wow. with, a, with a ring. A You'd idea. pull a ring down over it and it tightens the cord. Be quite an amazing That's thing amazing. for you guys to try. Yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. We're not at 299.99. Um, we are going to take the price point lower. This is crazy. Amazing. Get it. Enjoy. I don't... Yeah. We're going to go out with a bang. We're going to finish this, um, this, this hour with oh a bang. Oh, my goodness me. Buy them all. That's extraordinary. 1666 on you split payments the today. Wow. Absolutely the best. Julie, Gabrielle, Trichelle, Maker, Maker, oh, Margaret, Lorna. Absolutely phenomenal. Well done, everybody, at £49.99. and pence. What an incredible, incredible deal. An undrilled Tahitian pearl, 11 to 12 mil in size. If you do have the know how to drill this, then, you know, by all means do it. I, I'm with you. I don't think I could. I don't think I would want to do that. I would want to celebrate the entirety of this incredible pearl, the uniqueness of this quality. Maker and Devon's bought three, Gail's bought two, Jenny's bought two, Julie's bought five, Lorna's bought two. It's absolutely flying out the door. Well done. Um, oh, gosh, no. Seven opportunities left. That's it. Seven chances left. Amazing. Wildly overallocated. Charlie, it's been a pleasure today. Guys, thank you, thank so, you much so much for joining us. And we Thank will see you. Thank you so much. Just wonderful. We'll see you again soon, hopefully. Fantastic. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, coming up next, we've got, uh, we're going to be bringing the most beautiful pearls uh, to air again, the deal of the day again. And we're going to be, um, and we're going to be looking at Mark's incredible macrame bracelet. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you in a second. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column kunzite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker Vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m. for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. I'm exhausted by just hearing what he's up to for the rest of the week. He's, he's, what did you say Rome. to him, Tom? He's going further Rome in tomorrow. a week than you're going in the year or something. Is... Rome. Right. Rome, mm. Geneva. Sicily. Sicily. Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire, New York. <laughs> in, oh, oh, in London. Dear. And then New York in a week. He's in going a week to Geneva for two hours. Mm -hmm. oh, amazing. Wow. Well. Wow. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wow. These. Wow. These. Wow. Wow. Wow.
This was your deal of the day. Mixed shape South Sea pearls, six to eight mil in size. We bought them to air, not for $199.99. The, I have to say, the, um, the access we were giving you here is the best pearl offering we've ever done. Mm -hmm. The best pearl deal we've ever done. The most accessible South Sea pearl deal we've ever done. Because you got this dozen pearls for $49.99. Absolutely unbelievable. We still have chances left. Please do add it onto your order. This is beyond anything. Beyond anything. It is absolutely tremendous. That's an amazing piece of jewellery, Mark. We've been waxing lyrical about it all morning. It's one of the best pieces I think you've ever made. It's just, it's just gorgeous. You must be. Well, very I think, well, I think the bundle, that, the bundle that I got, because um, as guest designers, if we're bringing a kit to air, we get sent two kits. Mm -hmm. We get sent the kit that we make the jewellery with, and then we get sent another kit if we haven't used or for the first kit to do the demonstration with. So the first thing I did, exactly as you've got here, I put them in my hand, and straight away I saw the two gold for the earrings. Mm. So, so again, they, they, they told me, in effect, what mm -hmm. they wanted to be done with. So the earrings were the first two pieces, of which were the two gold. And I thought, because of the gold, I would, I would stick with that, with that gold with the colour pattern. And as, as I mentioned, this, this Zircon strand that I had, I, I, I was desperate to use it. And this, for me, it, it's the perfect, to perfect pearls to use with the Zircon. And then I found these three, which I did for the bracelet. Mm -hmm. And then the remainder I had, I had one, that, that amazing sort of silver undertone that it had to it, that I used as the pendant on the mm. necklace there. And then the rest I popped in the bracelet. And again, because the, the colour tones were, were perfectly colour matched, it was just amazing. Absolutely mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Forty nine ninety nine on individual split payments of sixteen pounds and sixty six pence. Tremendous. Well done, everybody coming through. Now, I've got a lot of people coming through, a lot of people with this in the baskets, a lot of people checking out. So please do check out your baskets. We've still got genuine chance left, particularly if you want to get another pack. So if you bought one pack, then yeah, four pounds sixteen a pearl. And this is what Mark made. You know, these are the two kind of big standout pieces that Mark made. But obviously, earrings, pendants. So you made these, these two gorgeous pieces. Yeah. Um, you made a gorgeous necklace. You made a, a pendant. You made a beautiful pair of earrings as yep. well. They are just, they are just phenomenal, aren't they? Gorgeous. Janet in Cambridgeshire, well done to you. Agnes and Marion Maker in London, Stirlingshire, a boiler, well done to you. Lynette, well done Heather, Linda, Agnes, Christine. Well done, just incredible. So that whole that whole set then, the the, the earrings and pendant, uh, raise it twelve pound fifty. <laughs> <clears throat> that's 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 absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't see the pendant for me. I it, it was quite simple because I thought well, I got, we got the one pearl. It's a sterling silver mm. chain, seventy five pound. We don't have South Sea pearls in Whitney at all. And I've said before, we've got two high street jewellers and we've got three or four standalone boutique mm. jewellers. Mm -hmm. They all sell culture pearls. None of them sell South Sea. No. Not one of them. No. So you, I mean, the fact that if you had that on your stall, would you, I mean, as, as lovely Anne, our in-house designer, would, would say, she yes. mentioned earlier that, that single pearls are her best seller. Yes. So straight away. But I mean, those earrings, they're so... That colour, I think, is, is an excellent selling tone point. is just gorgeous. It's just absolutely beautiful. So you're probably looking, I don't know, £100 for the earrings. That return, you know? that return yeah, yeah. is incredible, isn't it? Mm. They are worth every penny of that, if not more. Yeah. Every single penny of that. West Sussex, North Lanarkshire, Jan, well done to you, Pat. Well done to you, Linda, Janet. Heather, Agnes, oh, it's gone nuts. It's gone completely nuts. Now, Mark, are you going to be making that gorgeous bracelet? And if not, why not? Well, apparently, we've had lots more votes for, the, for this bracelet. I was, I was talking yesterday about, now I always get this one, influencers, what are they called? Influencers. Influ <laughs> Influenza. I can't say, yeah, whatever that word you just said. Influencers, because they influence. Yeah, so one way of, of, of getting your jewellery out. <laughs> I can't oh, I've got a terrible case of influenzas. Oh, I can't, yeah. 
But just get somebody. It doesn't have to be a celebrity. It could be your friends and family to, to, to wear these sort of pictures yeah. on your Instagram. Definitely. Is that the right term? In, yeah, in, on your Instagram page. I think that'd be amazing. Yeah, definitely. You know, get, get your pieces worn and out there. And... Yeah. How fantastic. Mm. 49.99. Brilliant. Right, Mark, let's get into a demo. Okie doke. Come on. Here we go. So. Now, I did a wire macrame show a couple of weeks ago on the show, I think. So apologies if you've seen it quite regularly, but we did put it open for voting and this has one hands down. So mm. I'm just going to quickly show. Now, what I've gone for this time is instead of having gold and silver, I've gone for completely gold. Mm -hmm. Just to show you again how completely different it looks. And what I've done for the demo is I've taken three colours of pearls as mm -hmm. well. So we've got, we've got the yellow, we've got the white and we've got the silver tones. Just to show you again how they all look completely beautiful against the wire. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned when Charlie was on the show, my lazy strand down the centre is 0.6 millimetre. Um, he did mention 0.8, but I found it was, it was a bit tight. Mm. Um, but you've got, you've, obviously you've got your pearl reamers if you want to, of course, you want to yeah. go for that yeah. extra gauge. But, but because of, we're only using three of our pearls and a few of the zircon, it's quite a lightweight, delicate bracelet. Mm. So you don't need a 0.8. So 0.6 is more than enough, okay? So I'm, I'm using my small macrame board and I've taken a piece of 0.6, the length of the board, plus half again, top and bottom. And I've done that so I can attach it to the top of my board nice and tightly at the top and also at the bottom. So there's a lot extra wire than you need, but mm. I, I, I want it to be nice and tight. So you should be able to pluck it like a guitar string. Ah. Okay. So that's your lazy strand set up. Mm -hmm. And what I did on the original bracelet, if I just bring that across, was I made the macrame bracelet and I felt that it was, it was tiny, it was like a christening bracelet. Mm. And because I had all that extra wire at top and bottom, I was able, after I'd actually made the bracelet, to then <clears> pop <throat> on some extra stones Wonderful. before I did the loop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as I said, I'm not very good with sizing. Um, it's probably my worst fault I have. I always either make them too small or too big, even after all these years. <laughs> this, this, because I don't have anyone at home to model the jewellery, you see. So it's always a, but so all you do is because you've got all that excess wire, you're able then to add on more stones if you need it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's your, your setup. So that's our lazy strand through the center. And then you need a piece of 0.4. So for the bracelet, if I pop that back on there, for the bracelet, I used some sterling I had in my stash. Um, I couldn't find any in the studio, so I'm just going to use the gold plated okay. silver that we have in the studio. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to do square knots. Now I, I sometimes I do square knot and sometimes I do twist knot and I always find that if you use sterling silver wire with your twist it doesn't make the knots so tight whereas, oh. the, whereas the silver plated does. Bizarre, it's, it's strange. Interesting. So I've, I've gone for the square knot on all okay. the pieces. Okay. So I've taken a piece of wire. Now the, the length of the piece of wire that I worked with was four feet long. So uh, it was a 10 metre length, so I draw, uh, it's a yeah, 10 foot length and I've cut down to four feet. But this is up to, for demonstrating, it's just a couple of feet. So first thing you need to do is just, mm. is just soften your wire and straighten it out any kinks and bumps. Okay, so just run it through your fingers. And you need to do it a couple of times and you can feel the temperatures changes straight mm -hmm. away. So we're going to take the wire under and we're going to bring the two ends up to the top. Okay, so we're just going to move those out of the way. Okay, and we've got that center point. So we're just gonna slide that up to the top. And what I do is I, I so always start my work from, if you look on your macrame board, two squares down from the top, I don't like going right to the top. So starting two squares down. And I've got equal length of wire on the left-hand side and the right. So we're going to do a square knot. So on a square knot, you have two sides, you have a left and a right, okay? So I always do the left side first. It doesn't matter which side you start, as long as you keep that alternating. So we're gonna start the left side, first of all. And the first, first knot, if you keep hold of that wire, just for the first knot, yeah. because you don't want to slip and have three foot of wire on one side <laughs> and one foot on the other. Exactly. Okay? So I'm gonna hold on to the wire, I'm going to swap, and then I can pull the wires through okay so that's the left side of the knot and then we're going to do the right side and when you when you've tied your knot pull the wires out okay and you're warming up your your um, making the wire nice and soft but you're also work hardening it at the same time 
which sounds yeah. counterintuitive, but, mm -hmm. it, it, but that, that's what you want. I've just seen something on the screen below my screen I'm looking at, and it's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Are we bringing that to air? Are we going to bring that to air? The picture yeah. I just saw. Oh, Three right. available. <laughs> OK. So I've, done, so I've done the left-hand side, and now we're going, I'm just going to do the right-hand side. We're trying to find a bundle to go with this to give you the smaller gemstones, basically. Oh, amazing. OK. We're going to do the right-hand side. So this will give you your knot. OK. Pull that up nice and tight. Like so. So that's your first knot. That's your square knot. So what I did is um, I did three squares length. And you tend to find there are five knots in one of your little squares on your macrame board. So I'll just do, I'll just do a few more. So we do the left-hand side, and then we do the right-hand side. And if you remember, just to pull the wire nice and tight when you pull after the knot, it just keeps it nice and supple. And as you can see, I'm only using 0.6 millimetre for the lazy, but it still holds, still holds really well. Okay, so you pull the knot and then you pull the wire. You can see how straight and soft it is now. So I'll do a few more. Pull that through nice and tight. And then we'll do a few more. Okay, pull it through again. So as I said, this is square you can do the twist as well if you wanted to it'll have a completely different look and i wanted it, i wanted it to sit nice and flat on the wrist okay so what i do is i is, is i do a couple and then i just just rub my finger over it just to make sure there are no bumps <coughs> that's, that's absolutely perfect so the next thing we do as i said once you've done your three squares obviously each bracelet is going to be a different size so but i think three squares, which is three centimetres, is a good, good starting base before okay. you start adding your beads. So we're going to bring up one of the little zircon that I popped up. So we're going to pop up one of our little beads. Then I'm going to do, again, just repeat the left side of the knot. But this time, there's an obstruction in the way, a very nice obstruction. That's your little, your little zircon. So we do the left-hand side. And then we do the right-hand side. And what's wonderful about using wire on yes. your macrame is it doesn't slip. So you're always guaranteed a perfect knot every time. So that's our little zircon. Now, if you wanted to, Gorgeous. you could do five knots in between if you wanted to space your beads <coughs> out, but I like, I like them all close together. So we're going to take our first pearl up. And if you want to, you can turn the pearl around to, to find its better side, its best side if you want to, because once it's in position, nice and tight with the wire, it won't slip over. So we're going, again, we're going to do the left side first. Again, pull that nice and tight. You see it hugs Look at it with the gold. It's, just, it's, it's gorgeous against the gold, isn't it? And then we're going to do the right-hand side. So underneath, do the right-hand side. As I said to when Charlie was in, I was intending to just to use one, but I had those three that were perfectly colour matched. So I thought, in for a penny. Yes. So again, we're going to add another zircon. So we do the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Gorgeous. Now, at this point, we've got an earring. Yeah, OK, brilliant. So if you wanted to stop there, when I, can, when I show you how we finish, you'll just replicate the, the way I finish. OK. Whether it's an earring, a ring, a necklace, a bracelet, mm. it all finishes off the same way. But if you want to, we would cut the wires away and you'd have an earring there or mm -hmm. a pendant for a necklace. So it, macrame is absolutely perfect if you've got a limited number of beads. Mm -hmm. Then we'll pop up the next pearl. This pearl is amazing. Oh, wow, that is beautiful, isn't it? So there we go. Lovely and nice, shape. Nice and tight. It holds it in position. Slide that underneath. Nice and tight. And then we'll do penultimate zircon. Feed that through. I just think the zircon, it's, it's not overly sparkly. It's just, it's very subtle. And I think that's what you need because you still want the, the pearls to be the star of the show. Now this pearl is slightly teardrop again, but with macrame, it doesn't matter what shape or size because, mm -hmm. because especially when you're using wire, because it holds 
perfect that you can see it. It just gives it a little golden halo. It's just yeah, warm. it does. So sweet. Okay, and then we bring this across, and then we pop up the zircon. So when you've done your your add your last bead, you replicate the number of knots that you did at the beginning. Now what okay. you could do, you see, again, I've made five. How many have I done? One, two, three, three four. Four, four. four. I've done four at yeah. the top. You do four at the bottom. I'm going to show you how we finish it. Once you've yes. got that finished section, you can pop that on your slider bracelet. Yeah, OK, yeah. So again, it's another piece of jewellery. So this is what I love when I, when I get set challenge where you have a minimum number of beads, i.e. 12 pearls. Mm. It just makes you think of your jewellery designs in a completely different way rather than just, you know, strand a whole strand of beads onto some be beading thread with a toggle. Of course. It just makes you completely yes. different. So we'll just do these four knots. So we do the left-hand side. And then the right. Lovely. But I think if you've not had a go at um, wire macrame before, mm -hmm. I think 0.4 is a really nice yeah. wire to use. Because 0.6 I love using as well, um, purely because it's quicker and the, the knots are larger. Mm -hmm. But if you want something delicate like this, and if you want that sort of machine turned look, I think your 0.4 is the nice one. So we'll just do the last two and I'll show you how we finish. So I think, as, a, as, a, as I said to Charlie, I think the whole bracelet took me about three quarters of an hour, but you know, I, I do a lot of wire macrame. Mm. So um, but just have a practice. And if it does go wrong, you just cut the wire and your beads drop off and you start again. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, it's all, that's, all that you lose is a bit of time, but it's always practice, isn't it? Okay, so I'll just do my last right-hand side and then we'll, I'll show you how we finish. So, okay, so you imagine that I've got three squares of macrame, then my bead section, and then my three squares. So if I bring the bracelet up alongside, mm -hmm. how different it looks. Yes. From the gold and silver. Very, very much so. Completely different. Okay, so we're going to take it off our... Can I give those pearls to you? Because I'm oh, afraid I'm going to knock them on the floor. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to they take it off. They sound beautiful. I'm going to take them off my, off my board. Aren't they gorgeous? Okay, so just take the whole thing off and lay it down. So you don't need your macrame board at this point. And then, first of all, I'm going to work with my working, working wires. So can you see, if we can get in close, we've got a raised loop with the wire coming underneath. Okay, so we've got this little bridge. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the direction that that wire is coming out. So we're going to go round. So I'm going to go, I'm not going to fight against the knot. I'm just going to go all the way round, just once. And then using my flush cutter pliers, I'm just going to go in and give it a little snip. That takes the wire off. And then with this side, um, my wire is situated Again, under the knot, so I'm just going to follow the direction. You don't want to yeah. go against the knot because you'll have a little lump of wire. So I'm going to go all the way around. Again, pull that nice and nice and tight, cut the, the wires off. And then you should be able to just run your thumb over the back without feeling any scratchy bits, and that's, that's absolutely perfect. Mm. Okay, if you wanted to, you could then go in with your flat nose. But I always think it's a bit, it's a bit wary with point 0.4 because it's such a delicate wire, you don't yes. want to snap the wire. Yeah, of course, yeah. So at this point, you need to decide, A, whether it's going to be large enough, it's too small, if it's too big, and then you can then, because you've got all this excess wire, you can then <laughs> add some more of your zircons if you wanted to. How wonderful. And then all we're going to do is we're going to work each end. I love how you've added the zircon onto the end of that macrame because it, it, it's such a beautiful contrast to... The macrame, isn't it? It's absolutely yes. gorgeous. What are you doing? You can put little spacer beads on. You can put all sorts of things what, on. What are you, you doing? To. Oh. What are they? For you. Oh. Okay. Sorry, Mark. I, sorry. Right. Perfectly on braid or what? <laughs> no! No, they're not. They can't be. No. Are these real? Are they genuine pearls? Sorry. 
Star buy after Mark's demo. Price on that, I think, is illegal. Highly illegal. Right, they're coming up. Oh, my word. Right, OK. So, I've got my ends. <laughs> I've finished off my working wires. And all we're going to do is we're going to take off round those pliers. And I like to leave enough space between my macrame and the top for, with my wrap loop because I love to have a few coils, maybe three or four coils inside. So we're going to make a wrap loop. So we're going to bring the wire all the way towards me. Now there's different ways of doing wrap loops. Life's too short to do the faffy, I call it the faffy way. So this is, this is my way and it's just as good. So I'm just going to take the wire all the way around and then keeping that wire in situ, I'm just going to take my wire. So I don't take my pliers out, turn, turn the wire. All I'm doing is I'm just going to go round and just slowly fill in the gap in between. So I'm just going to go around. And sometimes, if you, if you feel that you've got to your macrame or the wire work that you're working on, and you've got a few gaps, just take your pliers out, hold it on, and just turn the loop rather than the wire. Yeah. And that tightens everything up, as you can see, nice and neatly inside. And then we're going to cut off the wire, and then we'll do the same with the other end. So once again, you're going to leave enough space. Again, three or four millimetres. Going to bring the wire towards us. Going to go all the way around. Keep hold of that wire and just wrap one, two, three. Again, I want it to be a bit tighter, so I'm going to release the loop. Hold on and just turn the loop rather than the wire, and that tightens everything up. And then we're going to cut our wire like so. So that's nice and tight. So that's your bracelet section made, or your pendant. Mm -hmm. or so, and then all I've done then is I've just gently, if you've got a bracelet mandrel at home, you can use your bracelet mandrel. But we're just going to... You may have already answered this. Did yeah. you work hard in the bracelet? Did you squidge it? No. You didn't. Could you? Could if you wanted to. It's not really going to do, no, it's not no, really going to do no, anything now, no, is it? No, no. And then all you're going to do then is, at the end, oh, you've got it there, is um, pop on a jump ring. And so the, I've got um, sterling silver gold-plated jump rings and the same with uh, a gold-plated clasp in the centre there as well. So, um, yeah, it's, just, it's just, just beautiful. If I, if I hold that up against it, see what you think, how the difference... I have to I say, think I think I'm with Charlie. I, I yeah. prefer it with the gold. With the gold. Don't the pearls look completely different? So totally we've got, so we've got three colours of pearls there, so you can see I've ombre them from yes. left to right. And again, Buttermilk, the, kind the, of gold, yeah. and again, ivory that zircon, and white. It's just, <gasps> no, they are amazing. But honestly, when you get these pearls home, the, the respect you give them and the time you take with them, and it, it's just amazing. So a massive thank you to um, the kit team for allowing me to have, well, as I said, they're the first barren pearls I've had. Mm. I've never had them before. So now it's a real privilege. Was I being a bit out of turn earlier talking about the fact that I hardly get given pearls? No. 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 It's just something I've noticed over the years, ever since I've worked here, that I don't tend to work with pearls very often. It's, I, well, I suppose they, because they, you, yeah. get, cause you yeah. get so many other... Mm. You get your seed beads. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I think, I think, I think you'll get more. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Absolutely. After today, well Absolutely. done to everybody who's just come through to get those... Um, mm. Cleopatra pearls on air right now. Um, they were amazing. <laughs> these beauties. Gabrielle's just come through to get one. Margaret, make her endorse it. They're yours for $149.99. Wow, wonderful demo, Mark. Thank you. Your bracelet is so perfect and consistent. It's amazing. You, love it, you. says Elaine. I love wire macrame. I love, love. It really is macrame. rather lovely, I have to say, Mark, what mm. you've created. It's just so nice and just so nice. We love pearl nosing. We love, you know, peg, um, um, pin setting it. But I have mm. to say, just something about what you've done today. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Proper jewellery making. Isn't that lovely? Well done. Right. I don't know where we really go from here other no. than to say we've got a star <laughs> by, which is stupid. In fact, do you know what? It's not a star by, it's a steal of the day. Now. <laughs>
Right. You discreetly put those on. I didn't notice you. You were busy. <laughs> you were busy. Look at these. Oh, my word. <gasps> these are perfectly ombre in colour. These are amazing. The most... Amazing strand of rice pearls here. So what is it about rice pearls, Mark? For, for, it's that sleek shape. It's that line. It's that it gives your jewelry direction. It gives you a lovely drop. It's it, 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 the rice pearl is slender and beautiful, isn't it? For me, I think it's the fact that we hardly ever have them. Uh, yeah, fair. do you know what? That's a that's a yeah. great that's a va yeah. really valid point. Oh, Janet, he, oh. he is, you're right, he's a gent. A gent. For macrame, this is the perfect. Off story. air, for macrame. different story. <laughs> <laughs> he's for horrible macrame, to work this with. Is just, this is just an amazing shape for macrame -ing. So, yeah, yeah, just doing what you've yeah. done here. Yeah. Phenomenal. Now, these are freshwater pearls, obviously. Yeah. I'm not trying to say these are anything other than freshwater pearls, okay? Lavender, peach, pink, white. Oh, they, I love them. I love, love, love them. Absolutely jaw-droppingly beautiful. Flawlessness. Mary Lynette, maker in Cheshire, maker. Mary in Surrey, maker in North Yorkshire. Paula, well done to you. Mark is absolutely right when he says, you know, we never really get no. rice pearls. We never really get this kind of quality. What you are getting to Alan in Bedfordshire, maker in Stirlingshire, Margaret in Inverclive. It's gone absolutely crazy. What price are these on, on the web at the moment then? Yeah. Right. 89.99 um, on the website. And that many people have come through yeah. to get them so far. Okay. Have a look at this. Where we are now, 89.99, that's the price point that this is on our website at currently. It is not where we are finishing today. Mark. Neary uh, told us the price that did. these were going to. I am struggling mm. to believe, understand, accept. I think he should come in and tell the viewers what price he's taken them down to, to be honest. I think you're right. I don't feel confident saying it. I, 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 I feel uh, like I've, I've misheard him. I don't want his false possibility for this. Rice pearls are something we get a couple of times a year. That's it. 89.99. Phenomenal. No way near your deal today. I tell you what, I tell you what, you don't even have to appear on camera, Neary. You can just lean out the gallery door and shout, shout. it. Yeah, do that. If you want. There are so many in baskets. I don't feel like I can say this price. This is way, way, way Way, way, way too low. Neary? <laughs> I can try to squeeze through this gap again, Carol. Oh, he's coming on. Oh, oh. hello, love. I thought you were going to Oh, we did. We don't want responsibility for this one. Mm-mm. Okay, right. I'm squeezing in. There you go. Yeah, I'll fit in that gap. Yeah. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Uh, Right, go okay. on. Ollie's going to do it. Ollie's going to press the button and I'm just going to wait for your reaction. I'm, I'm just here for the reaction. Can't oh, I see. What? He wasn't here yesterday. No. Oh. That's not the price we went to. What? What? 
You yeah. just told us that's what yes, we've got you out here. You said. Yeah. Get Mini clock. Oh, he's done it already, didn't he? Oh, no. Oh, oh. What? Set you up there, did you know? What? Oh, you no. are. You are joking. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. They're really evil. They're like the Chuckle Brothers in there. They've literally <laughs> formulated this whole thing. Mark and I thought 20 quid. Yeah. What? What is the deal? What is the deal? Oh, we've got threes, twos, threes. Yeah, threes, of course we twos, have. Threes. Oh no, what's he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Neri? Neri, what are you doing? Don't do. Obscene, obscene, obscene. <laughs> no. Oh, you're joking. No. Ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, no. What is going on? That's ridiculous. You have got, if you followed the demo that I just did, by, by the rule, with a, with, a, with a three centimetres, the pearls, three centimetres, one, two, three, four, five macrame wire bracelets you get out of this strand. They are amazing. I wow, feel incredible. physically sick. <laughs> What are okay, doing? and I know what they're doing in there right now. I can't even see them. I bet they're running, high fiving each other. Look at them! <laughs> yeah. Oh, they are. As yeah, well. they are. <laughs> <literally high -fiving. laughs> they're like oh a couple, a couple of couple of pranksters, aren't they? Oh, you're joking! <sighs> <gasps> oh my I've word! For so long. Time. Seriously. Oh, you like these? Then I'll tell you what you're going to love. Oh, oh bless him. You're oh, going to love these. Oh, they've bought these in to go with the bracelet because we don't have the zircon. Star by. Oh. Right. Stardust. If I wasn't live on TV, I would burst into tears, I tell you. Oh. Stardust, yeah. The, right. the, these we launched, gosh, it was, gosh, it must be 10 years ago, is it? Something like that. And I remember when we launched them, and I, I just thought I'd never, ever seen anything like Stardust bees before. They are elegant. All of you. Oh. All of you. 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 You haven't checked out. You've all missed out. <laughs> Everyone here, you need Sandy, Vanya, Michael, Valerie, Susan. You need these stardust beads, okay? I am lost for words over that strand, Mark. I literally, Completely. I don't, Completely. I am lost. That is the most un- Fifteen pound strand of pearls I've ever seen. Oh, look. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at those. So what? These the you don't get just one size then? No. So what sizes? Looks do you like get you there? get three sizes, ten of each. Right. Five mil. Yep. Four mil. Ah. Three mil. Yeah. Go on. Oh my gosh, two and a half so, now. So, replicate that bracelet, take the zircon out and do <gasps> graduated One. stardust. Two. Oh my oh gosh, no. these are absolutely delightful. I've never seen two and a half or three before, I'm pretty uh, sure I have Three. Oh look, oh Over. look. Look at Boom. that. Boom. That's a pendant. Yeah. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. Two loads of those. That's a pair of earrings. <laughs> what was that message? Stay strong, Mark. <laughs> <from this. laughs> don't, don't cry, Mark. <laughs> don't give up.
<laughs> it's a stardust. The effect that these stardust beads have on all of us, it's the most popular mm. bead we've ever done. It's yeah. the most iconic bead we've ever done. It's the biggest selling, longest running bead that we've done. And it's taken us months to get these back in stock. Months. Mm. It has. And we've never done two and a half mil before. I don't think we've had these since we've been back at Eagle Road. That's a really good, that's a really good point, actually. I, oh, no, did we have some the other did week? We? Right. I, that's it. Oh, we've had the right. Stardust right. mixed in with the Diamond Cut ones, mixed with the plain ones, but nothing no, like this. No, no. Never done two and a half. Those oh, two and a half mils. Mark, have you got a piece of wire or something? I can put some of those on because they are... These two and a half, it needs to be quite a fine piece of wire. Okay. If you can find some, Levy. Let's have a look. Where's the point four? I just had some point four, didn't I? Is it that on the thing? <laughs> oh, look at it with the Larimar. Look at that. Look at that. Fine, fine, fine. Thank you, Levy. Fine, fine, fine. The finest materials, the finest pearls in the world we bought you today. Oh, look at these. Oh. Yeah, they are. These are blasted with uh, diamond granules to texture them. It's not something which has been stuck onto the bead, by the way. These have literally been, um, these have literally been textured by having diamond granules fired at them, which agitates the surface. Oh, look, look at those beautiful baby <laughs> two and a half mils. Oh, Aren't look. they just delicious? Aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. Oh, yeah, the um, spiral rings that Laura Binding uh, used to make, and I've got about five of them at home, um, uh, which is just literally a spiral of wire with um, wrapped gemstones on. So I've got a black spinel one, a sapphire one, a pearl one. With these, it would be absolutely look off the scale. They look really beautiful, don't they? And then you put this next to it, look. And then you realise just how yeah. delicate and diddy they are. They are absolutely exquisite. Um, wow. So you get 40 in total. You get 10 3 mil, 10 4 mil. Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. 10 2 and a half mil, 10 3 mil, 10 4 mil, 10 5 mil. As you said, one stacked on top of each other graduating as an earring or yes! a pendant would just be beautiful, wouldn't it? Absolutely, Mark. Isn't that amazing? Twenty nine ninety nine. They are brilliant, aren't they? Abs. I mean, phenomenal. I'm missing one there, aren't I? That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Come through and get these as soon as you can. Phone line's gone absolutely nuts. It's been such a joy to see these back, hasn't it, Mark? Imagine graduating small to large, oh, one of the pearls, sake. and then large to small on a slider bracelet. That's all you'd need. Yeah. What a way to bring, bring life to those pearls. Yeah. There's a clock. No! No, no, no! Stop it! Stop it! They're doing this on purpose now. Enough! Sounded like me shouting at my children yesterday. Oh, no. Coming out. Oh, they were, they were oh, it's oh. bedtime. And bedtime, oh. tempers are frayed. And so both girls are brushing their teeth. Hattie's, Hattie's trying to leave the bathroom. Pippa's there, shoving her and elbow. Ooh, 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 ooh. I went, oi! Get to bed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's just you two in there today, Neary, yeah. Ollie. Yeah. You notice how when Charlie was here, I called him Tom. I didn't feel like I could kill, I could call him Neary in Charlie's presence. I don't know why. I don't know whether to call him Charles or Charlie. No, definitely it's not. Charlie. No, he's definitely he's Charlie, Charlie. But I, I, yeah, I, I cut, started calling Neary Tom. Felt weird. Anyway, okay. Marie Claire in <laughs> Lancashire, you're through. Well done. Oh my word. Say again. Yesterday what? Pearl price. <laughs> Well, you just double up, wouldn't you? It's buy one, get one free. Yeah, it's buy one, get one free. It's buy one, get one free. These are sterling silver, by the way. It's not silver plated, silver colour. These are 925 oh. sterling silver. Oh, my gosh. That's... I have literally... Yeah. Are you likely to get Stardust Rondells again? They are so lovely, too. Big hint mm. dropped. Yes, Liz. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I, I, I would love that. I don't know. I don't know, darling. But, yeah, I'd love that, too. I work? love that bracelet. Would it work with this? So take, <gasps> out, so take out 
the blues. The shell pearl and pop in. Yep. Yes, I think those. it would, Mark. I think that would look amazing. Oh, yeah. gosh. Yes, I think that would look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well done, everyone. I am yeah. over the moon for every single one of you out there today. It is a tremendous deal. Wow. Utterly, utterly <laughs> <laughs> Tremendous. Uh, yes, this Stardust, yeah. uh, Stardust bracelet accented with Larimar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and look at the back as well. So fine. So fine. Well, it's like I said right at the beginning when we bought the graphics live, these Stardust beads are the most iconic, the biggest selling, the fastest selling, the most widely loved beads that we've ever made. No longer neary new, no, it's neary yes, yes, says Michael. <laughs> <laughs> neary, neary, yes, yes. Uh, well done. Ah, oh, there you go. Can't believe it! Well done, 14 99 what a deal for you today. Absolutely well incredible. Done. Agnes in Lanarkshire, Margaret in five, oh. Sarah Ann's got two. Well done to you. <gasps> Look at everyone. Now, okay, so, so, now, here's the, here's the thing for you, Mark. Yeah, yeah. The, the hole is so big in these that if you wanted to make a stretchy or something, or even yeah, yeah. if, let's say, not a stretchy with, with all of these, but just using, a using one of these, this one here is a stretchy. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, um, um, the large one. Just that one there. Yeah, the yeah. knot is going to go inside that bead, Perfectly. isn't it? And hide Perfectly. the knot. So from a functional point of view, because I know with the kits that we've got mm, coming up, we've got elasticity amazing. coming up. We have. Um, we that have. is... Yep. And also, can I just say, if, if I just show you how these are made, look, there's no solder line, there's no kind of no. join. They no. are perfectly spherical. They what I really love, mark. I've just noticed, is the drill hole is, what's the word I'm looking for? So the, it's a small drill, um, no, what do I mean? So the larger the bead, the larger the drill hole. So the circumference matches the size of the drill hole. Yes, the ratio is the, the ratio, same. That's yes, the word, that's yes, the, word. the ratio. So the large one there, looking at it, it looks like two mil so you can get your leather leather do you know what i think you're cold. probably right Gosh, yeah. it, you could literally drive a bus through there but so yeah we've had, right. two, we've had two millimeter drill hole beads gemstones, jadeite yeah. yes of course with these on a leather bait on a leather what else, bracelet what other gemstones did we, did we do Mukite. it was mukite wasn't yeah. it yeah yeah. yeah, amazing. Maker's got three packs of these. Can I just say, I can't, I, I can hardly see a single person who's bought just one pack no, of these. They're no. amazing. Fourteen ninety nine for you today. Were those pearls an early bird then? Who was stupid enough to make those into an <laughs> early bird? That is ridiculous. That is stupid. Well, that's exactly what I was about to say. That's two deals of the day right there. Yeah. So, oh, Mark, bad. coming up. All of these kits. And I want to add these Stardust beads to, to your kits. To every single kit they would work with. Yeah, absolutely. If you look at wow. the... Hang on. Yeah, if you look at the bracelet that Mark's made, just mm. down there, the blue and yeah. kind of yellow... Um, yellow. Blue and kind yeah. of copper bracelet. You see where those gorgeous shell pearls are? Taking those shell pearls out and putting one of these larger Stardust beads in. Or a small one either side. Yeah, a large one and a small one either side. Yeah, I'm looking side. at that bracelet. And you see the left-hand side mm. just before, um, so the top row, yeah. you've got the orange and the yellow yeah. with a split. If you go to the left, I thought I'd put two seed beads on. Can you see the, to the left of the shell pearl? Yes. It's actually the reflection. Gosh, oh. I thought they looked like two <laughs> seed beads as well. I looked at it and thought, oh, no, I've made a mistake. That's no, mortified. It's, it's just the reflection. A reflection. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. There we go. Well done. 14 99 It's absolutely tremendous. Anyone who's got this in baskets, check out now. Do it now. And, and this is it. This is, yeah. I reckon, it, you know, if Jewelry Maker is still going in, in 50 years' time, uh, we, we, will, we will still be able to bring these to air. And it got to a point, do you remember when we first launched these Stardust Bees? It was years ago. It got to a point where I reckon we could have changed our name to the Stardust Spacer Bee Channel. We could, because yes, we'd yes, literally, yes. thousands, I'd probably, I'd, I'd love to see the details on this. I mean, this is a brand new bundle, obviously, but I would love to see the details on this because I reckon we have sold more Stardust Spacer Beads mm. than yeah. any other Spacer Bead. Yeah, I think you're right. Hands down, by a long way, I would imagine. Because it's not like a glitzy, mirror ball kind of luster. Mm. It's not sparkly. No. It no. is just alluring. It's, it's, it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> oh. Exceptional. Oh, for the love of gemstones. <laughs> what is that? 
What is that? Oh, no. <laughs> OK, this is news. <laughs> Stand by. This. My word. Come on, who found it? Was it you, Ollie? Go on, put your hand up. Look at that. Put your hand up, Ollie. Look at that. Ollie bundles. Oh, no, sorry, Ollie. Sorry. <laughs> I know you hate that. Sorry. <laughs> Bit creepy. Uh, so. God. Look at that. I've, I've just chosen my favourite strand. Go on. Is it the ruby? No. Oh, go on. No, Peridot. Oh, OK. Is, yeah, nice. I've got this thing about Peridot at the moment. It's just, oh, it's just beautiful. I think it's because you're around lots of fresh Could be. I'm green regardless. life at Could the minute. Be. Could be, yeah. The ruby for me is a standout strand. But then that moonstone is insane. Is that, that, that is moonstone, isn't it? That icy white strand. Is it? Yeah. Birthstone. Have you got the, uh, the, the details for this, lovey? Yeah, you've got tanzanite there. No, no. Oh, my word. Uh, I can just about see that. Okay. Oh, but, but. Garnet, amethyst. Oh, thanks, oh, love. No. Garnet, amethyst, aquamarine, quartz, which is replacing your uh, diamonds, emerald, moonstone, ruby, peridot, sapphire, tourmaline. Oh, I haven't seen the tourmaline. Tourmaline, citrine, tan... Excuse me, tanzanite. Um, they are all four mil... Oh, look at the phone lines. Gee whiz. I'm afraid I don't have the bundle here, but we played it on Friday. Um, uh, four mil micro faceted rounds. Twelve... Gemstones. And also, the great thing is, I'm, I'm, uh, we're never going to be able to bring you diamond four mil micro faceted rounds. That's just a stupid idea. We'd ne just never be able to. It's totally unaffordable. It'd be thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds. But the fact that we put it with quartz, I think, is wonderful because, of course, quartz is one of those gemstones which, if you believe in um, so the supposed properties gemstones possess, then you will know that this incredible gemstone is meant to amplify and magnify anything good that any other gemstone has. That ruby is one of the reddest ruby is, strands yeah. I've ever seen. It's amazing, isn't that it? That peridot is one of the lushest, greenest strands. That amethyst is so amethyst. It's so beautiful. It's almost blue. I almost thought that was a, a lapis lazuli, that amethyst. It's, it, it's so blue. Your tanzanite is incredible. Your sapphire is out of this world. There's your tourmaline. I can see. Look at that. Yeah, but with the Charlie Baron pearls. Imagine that bracelet. Any stone you like. Oh, you're joking. <sighs> Honestly. Twelve pounds a strand. Incredible garnet. Go on, love. Natural Indian garnet. Natural Brazilian amethyst. Aquamarine from Nigeria. Quart, natural quartz from America. Uh, yeah, natural emerald from Brazil. Natural moonstone from India. Natural, natural ruby, wow, from Mozambique. Natural tourmaline from Madagascar. Citrine from Brazil. Tanzanite from Tanzania. 99.99. Lynette, Kerry, Karen, well done. You're the only three that have checked out. In baskets, Emma, Maker in London. Margaret, you've got two in your basket. Tracy, Lynn, Maker in Staffordshire. Pauline, Margaret, Paula, Maker, Nicole, Samantha, Tracy. You've all got this in your baskets. Check out, my loves. That is amazing. Imagine I this as a, um, as a micro kiss cross necklace incorporating all of your birthstones. Single figures available. I love that idea, Mark. Stardust kiss cross. Oh, oh my gosh, ah, a stardust that kiss cross. Amazing, I'll have to work that out. We'll have to do a, try and do a stardust kiss cross kit. 
you need a lot. You'd need a lot. How many do you reckon you need, and what size? Well, you need. You, well, we could do a station. You'd need 17 for a station, 10 stations, 170. Gee whiz, that's a lot. Mm. If you did a 360 over the you know the what, edge, though? I love need, that, Mark, I love that thousand. idea. You probably need about 1,000. Oh! What a piece, though. What a, what a piece. Wow. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, please check out Hazel Tracy Maker. Um, yeah, amazing. Coming up, because everything's been so popular... Oh, I love that bracelet. Yeah, isn't that lovely? Black and gold. I sent this gold. picture to Alice, who, who put the kits together for me. She said, that's Oscar night worthy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coming up, this. Masterclass, amazing. Do not go anywhere. We will see you in a couple of minutes. Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. After the success that we had last Monday with my Jewelry Vault Raider show, we are back for more this Monday at 11 a.m. I have just come back from the Jewelry Maker warehouse. I've been in there since about half past eight this morning. It's now just after midday, and I have got for you an even better, dare I say it, an even better selection than I had last week. When was the last time you saw Alexandrite here at Jewelry Maker? Well, I've got three strands for you. The last three strands in the building. I've got Star Garnet, Amalobi Sphine, Pink Sapphire, some of the most beautiful column conzite, and many more pieces to bring you. But I'll say it once again. If you want to get some of the most irreplaceable pieces that you can find in the Jewelry Maker vault right now, then come and join me this Monday at 11 a.m for one of our beautiful Vault Raider shows. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. 
You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. was the most random break conversation I think we've ever had. We were talking about, about shellfish, oysters and mussels and mm. clams and vongolets like and all sorts of things. I love them. I've actually got, I was given as a Christmas present because I don't know about everyone else, but I, it might be the way to do it. But the way I eat my mussels is you take the first one out with a fork yes. and then you use the empty shell. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was given a few years ago as a Christmas present, a sterling silver hinged um, hinged mussel shell Whoa. that when you go to restaurants you put in your top pocket and you take out and you, you eat it. It's beautiful. It is so lovely. What a gift! I've used it a couple of times. I used it a couple. And there's always a risk when you go to a restaurant and you ask for mussels because sometimes you get a little cup with maybe five or six in and other times you get a bucket full. Yes. So there's always a risk not knowing how much But with you the get. white wine and cream oh. and oh and then you dip yeah. your bread oh, no, 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 and put your chips in it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's just <laughs> delicious isn't Amazing. it? Amazing. Well, from one set of muscles to another. No, sorry, I'm joking, oh. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm on a seafood diet. I eat seafood and I eat it. Ah. Did you hear about the... Uh, oh, no. <laughs> did you hear about the shellfish who went to a, who went to a disco? Pulled a muscle. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Which computer has got the best singing voice? Oh, uh, no. Adele. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. Uh. Sorry. Those are proper dad jokes. Oh, right. These kits right. are beautiful, Mark. They're lovely, aren't they? So lovely. We've been talking about bringing carrier beads back for such a long time. And we have only recently discovered that uh, the symbol range have these little sub beads. And um, so we've managed to put together kits using these. And I just think they're amazing. I've never seen them before. I've never used them before. They're just absolutely beautiful. And we've gone back to the original carrier bead size rather than the extra large. So we've got the, the ordinary size, which is really lovely. I haven't seen them for such a long time. And these are made in the Czech Republic in the factory that we visited when we went on our tour. Oh, really? Years ago. So we've seen carrier beads being made. Oh, how exciting. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting off with this kit. Am I right in saying that, Neary Nunu? Black and red. Oh. That's what I'm going to demo with. Well, which one is that? This one. Oh, red. Yeah. Oh, I see. So this, now, is, this is what I'm going to be demonstrating with. So if I show you the completed piece. So I thought I would make a pair of earrings and one of the earrings I would demonstrate. But this is, <gasps> this is what... Oh! Amazing, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Is that like a bronzy Delica? It is. You've got bronze, black and... Like a gunmetal. Gun and I've never, ever, ever had gunmetal Delicas before. Look at, look, at, look, <gasps> look at the sparkle. That uh, is, they look almost blue, don't beautiful. they? They are beautiful, Absolutely Mark. Beautiful. And that's the new finding going through the centre. It's lovely. What, this here? Yeah, yeah. yeah these are, these are... Now, these have unpronounceable names, just to warn you. Oh, like the, uh, <laughs> like awesome. it's the symbols, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. They've so all they, got they Greek have, names, um, haven't that's, they? Like that's right, yes, that's Clifuti right. Clifuti yeah. and things like that. <laughs> Balaclava. Um, yeah, so these have... Um, these have all got Greek names, uh, yeah. normally named after Greek uh, gods, goddesses, right. things like that. Yeah. Um, so you've got here uh, two, four, six, eight, ten of yeah. these brand new findings. And then these are the actual carrier beads. OK, in bright red. Don't I mean, you can see you can see as much of the carrier bead as you want, can't you? Mark? Yeah, absolutely. You can just use one if you want to want to slide a bracelet. Yeah. Yes, but absolutely. Very, very nice yeah. indeed. Yeah. 
They're double drilled. So what makes them mm. brilliant is if you wanted to use them at the top of maybe a tassel, have a tassel coming out the bottom, brilliant. You don't need no. to use them as a as a traditional carrier bead, but you absolutely can. And do. if you, you could bead them up and actually use them as a guru, because you've got the two the two cords coming around, you can use them as your guru bead. You're then gonna be getting <laughs> Oh, stop it, Ali. He's being very naughty. Rose gold coloured. Rose gold, rose gold coloured elasticity, which is absolutely gorgeous. A satin finish, 0.8 millimetres in gauge. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Beautiful. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Really beautiful elastic here. Um, they are just so beautiful, aren't they, these components together? I just, I can't get over that. That is such a lovely design you've created there, Mark. It's just gorgeous. I love it. It's just, I love it. I love it. And what I've done with the colours, because I, I was sent four kits from the six today. So again, I've had a, I've had a mix and match and a play around. So I've used all three colours on these earrings. And yeah. If Michael can just look at the bracelet. If I bring that across. The bracelet. I've used. I've alternated between the gunmetal and the black around the gold. Ooh. It's, it's just it's just beautiful. And because you've got those little cheesy wedges in, yeah. the beads sit at George angles. It's just such a lovely. Lovely effect. So you can, if you want to, just use one colour on your carrier beads if you didn't want to do all the intricate patterns yes. and designs. But it's, I love that piece. It's one of my favourite pieces I've ever made, I think. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Lovely. It is really, really beautiful. How did Alice describe that piece of jewellery when you sent her a photograph of it? Oscar evening worthy. <laughs> that is quite a compliment. Yeah. Right, OK. Loads of people already coming through for these. You need to see your price point for these. It's been such a phenomenal show already. And we've still got the masterclass to do. So we're going to bring you all the kits. Then we're going to do a lovely, big, fat, meaty, juicy, gorgeous masterclass demo. Forty-nine ninety-nine is not your price. Just come through and get it. Come through and get it. Add it to your order. Add it to your order. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Put it in your baskets. Come on. Come on, everyone. Oh, now, yes, that's a very good point, Ollie. Red is the most difficult to... Uh, expensive. Expensive, thank you. Yeah. Colour. So the, the, all, of the, all of the glass you see here, the original rods were from Preziosa. Yes, so Preziosa make the glass rods, and then they send to other manufacturers to make the beads with. So this Preziosa glass that we're using. Now, the water used to create these incredible beads goes yeah. into the factory and it actually comes out the factory cleaner than it went in. Am yeah, I right so, in so the river, that? the river, what? What? Oh. <laughs> I've had nothing to do with these prices. Twenty nine ninety nine today. That is unbelievable. What is that? What is that? How is that? A that's ridiculous. Okay, this is flying out the door. Mary Lynette, Linda, Elaine, Leslie, Maker in Oxfordshire, yeah. Devon, Hertfordshire, Greater London, Suffolk, Kent, um, Hampshire, Yorkshire, Cambridgeshire, London. Oh, my word. Well done, everybody. At 29 it's absolutely flying out the door. John and Susan, yeah. Maker, well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of you there. Buckinghamshire, well done. Can't believe that. That is absolutely tremendous. Well done, everybody. Wow. Go, 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 go. Amazing. Joseph in Greater Manchester, you've got two in your basket there, my lovely. Check out my loves. That is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, Mark, we're pricing these kits so that so that you can uh, interchange them. Yeah, absolutely. No, no, play around with the colours and the shape and the and the and the beads. So these these sub beads are called Lalaria. Mm. Lalaria, Lalaria, I like Lalaria. La -la yeah, so Lalaria. In the Pretty yeah. so factory where we where we visited, the stream mm. before the factory doesn't have fish in. The water the other side after the cleaning process has trout and salmon. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It just yeah. shows you that sometimes it can be hugely yeah. beneficial, these kind of processes. And, you know, it's absolutely wonderful really putting something back into the environment there. Helen, Linda, Jenny, Victoria, Jean, Dorothy. Oh, very, very, very popular kit, this one. Well done, everybody. Loads in baskets. Right, should we move on to the next kit? Because I want to be able to give Mark as much time to demo as possible. Next kit. Which one are we doing, love? <laughs> oh, they feel beautiful. They're lovely. Mm. They're gorgeous. <sighs> Green, this one. Oh, I love this kit. No, I didn't have this one. <clears throat> this is gorgeous. <sighs> okay. That last kit was called Monica. Oh. What's this kit called? Oh. Are they? Oh. 
Oh, I, so I haven't got a kit named after me. Is there? Oh. oh, that's really lovely. How lovely. Thanks, Alice. Greens. I hope I've got a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the one with like half a tube of seed beads in and a bit of sellotape and a, a broken one of these. Ah, that'll do. That'll do. Oh, that'll do. And a packet of crisps. There you go. Okay, so this one is called Hannah. Oh, you get more carriers in this one. Oh, Hannah. There we go. So you've got your gorgeous Lalaria carry bead uh, sub gold. Beautiful. That, that's nice. Th these They're are amazing, gorgeous aren't colours, yeah. aren't they? They're amazing. Oh, look They're at this. Beautiful. Satin, yeah, like a peeled grape, yes. Satin gold elasticity. I don't think I've ever seen... That's amazing. I love that. That gold and green together, it's almost like a verdigris, isn't yeah. it? It's I've never seen these, um, these coloured elastics before. Are they new? Um, I've seen the satin rose gold before, but that, right. that's about it. I haven't seen any of the others before. That, right. that really is brilliant, oh. isn't it? Gorgeous, have the gold ones, just gorgeous. Oh, no. Okay, let's get that price point in. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through to get this Mayuki dyed emerald AB, Mayuki transparent pale green. Oh, yes. Silver lined gold. Oh, yeah, these are all absolutely gorgeous, aren't they? Beautiful. $29.99 for you today. Well done. And then, of course, you get your beautiful carrier, your clear crystal carrier beads as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. But that is a lovely, fresh, summery colour today. palette, isn't and it's it? It's that gold included with the green. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Most definitely. Well done, Hannah. Well done to you, my lovely. Getting a kit named after you. Well done. <laughs> gorgeous. 0800 655. Well done, everyone. It's a go, 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 everyone. Superb. Right. OK. We've got so much to get through in this hour. Well done, Linda, Wendy, Carol Maker in Oxfordshire, Devon, West Sussex, Joseph, Varnia, Gerati, Bev, well done to you, my lovely. Let's move on. OK, next kit. Who? Alison. <laughs> this one. Uh, oh, no, it's not red. It's like a... A russet. A russet tone. Yeah. It's like a, a clay colour. It does look red in the photographs. Yes, You're absolutely yeah. right, but it's actually more of yeah. a russet colour, like an oxidised metal. Ah, here are your cheesy, cheesy wedges. Uh, so this is this, so this is from, so that, that's this bracelet here. So I've used the cheesy wedges and the black. Yes. If you look, on, you can see I've used the black carriers. in. Oh, yeah, lovely. So again, if you multiply the kits, you can have a real play and mix and match. You can, can't you? Beautiful. That looks great. That looks great. Alison, this kit is called. I like this. I like them how they've... Ah, oh, it's so lovely. Right, here we go, everybody. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours. I think these would go really well with the red carrier beads as well, if you wanted to kind of use Absolutely. that lovely yeah. bright red alongside that rust. It looks really nice, doesn't it? So, you know, and, and, and you know, more of the delicas. Really lovely. Oh, that was gorgeous. Nice, Ollie. Do you know what? You're absolutely yeah. right, Ollie. Yeah. Saying that that yellow looks like a Doris Day yellow. So these little cheesy wedges are called Marathas. Maratha. Yeah. <laughs> Maratha. No, not Maraca. Maratha. Maratha <laughs> wedges. They're gorgeous, aren't they? And the reason that these were invented is if, however, if you're making um, a necklace, a carrier bead necklace, because of the angle of the carriers, if you wanted an, a natural curve, you'd have to have a small bead at the top between the two yes. and a larger bead at the bottom. Yes. But these have been created. So that curve is all because of those little cheesy wedges that oh. have been, uh, so the angle is just, they're, they're amazing. Well they're done. Amazing. Leslie Maker, Victoria Maker in London, Somerset, well done to you. Oxfordshire, Devon, Tyne and Weir, Greater Manchester, you've got two there. Well done to you, Durati, well done to you, Vanya, Bev. Loads of people coming through. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours, beautiful beads and such affordable prices. And those gorgeous kind of wedge-shaped beads, they are 100% brand new as well. So they're absolutely yeah. gorgeous, aren't they? Go, 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 go. Well done. Very, very popular kits these are. They're absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see the Masterclass demo as well. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. 0800 644 Yeah. All right. OK, moving on purely because of time. Let's do... Yeah. The next kit. Yes, Michael, I did think about that before <laughs> I said that. <laughs> What's the next one called? L. L. Oh. 
I'm with L next Sunday. This, this, L. Oh, this is. Yeah. Mm, I like this. I yeah. thought this one was going to yeah. be Mark. With the with the. Oh yeah, it could have been Monica actually with the purples in, couldn't it? <gasps> oh, that is a gorgeous combat. Look at the colour of these beautiful carriers. Cobalt blue, love that. Love the gorgeous rose goldy coloured base metal uh, wedgies as well. They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? Gorgeous, look at that. Well done, Delica matte transparent purple, opaque sea blue carrier beads, De a delicate transparent pale amethyst. My Yuki something, oh, base metal nickel plated uh, dyed rose gold and the carrier, uh, Maratha carrier beads. Oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Okay, this is a gorgeous palette. This is so lovely, exotic, isn't it? Isn't it? Just, I think I think think bronze and, and blue just works beautifully together, doesn't it? They're, they're yeah. Sea blue. I know, isn't what that lovely? Sea blue. Okay, we are going to be taking oh. this lower. I don't know why. I don't know how. Oh. We think it may have. They may have missed some. Oh. 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 Strange. Okay, uh, right, so we shouldn't be doing this. Okay, we shouldn't be doing this, Price. Um, oh, dear. Okay, Joseph, Leanne, Pauline, Gerard, Elizabeth's got two in her basket. Well done. Maker in West Sussex. Um, oh, gosh, this is very, very, very popular. Um, I don't know how low we're going, but we are going to go... Oh, okay. Oh, wow, that's way too low, Neary. No way. These, these, these beads are brand new. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Go 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 go! Well done, everyone. Mm. And the that holes and the good. holes inside the um, the Maratha beads, they're angled because if you can imagine, if you were, if you're placing them at an angle and you wanted to have a carrier bead either side, yes. the holes that even though the holes align, the interior of the hole would be a bit awkward to get your needles through. But they've the holes have been drilled in the Marathas, so the, the it, from bead to bead to bead. Ah. Do you know what, does that make sense? Yes, yeah. absolutely. So the bead alignment and hole alignment is just perfect. Oh, that's fantastic, perfect. isn't it? Well done, everyone. Heather, Catherine, Lynette, Mary, Wendy. Well, absolutely superb. So many people. So many people coming through to get this. It's absolutely incredible. Well done. 0800 644 Go, go, go. Well done. Oh, I just think that's absolutely... Yeah, baskets are stacked. Do not leave this kit in your basket. It's going to sell out. 20 left and it's abs... I've got 40 of you with this in baskets. Edna, no capes. Check out. Well done, Patricia. <laughs> She's probably my favourite oh, character ever yeah. from anything ever. And Edna. Have you seen Hotel Transylvania 4? Oh, it's very good. Have you seen it? It's brilliant, isn't it? When all of the monsters become people. <laughs> it's very, very funny. Uh, so Frank, who's Frankenstein, uh, becomes a person. He's like a real hunk. Uh, you've got Drax, who becomes uh, a person rather than being Count Dracula. It's very right. good, but you need to watch it. It's, it's very right. funny. I need to watch it. I need, it is aimed I need, at to, it, I need to be in the moment. It is aimed yeah. at children, obviously, but, okay. uh, but there are some kind of adult bits in it. Right. And Michael's watching. it, and he's an adult. Uh, there we go. Ish. <laughs> Semi. Uh, well done, everybody. 24.99. Seven chances remaining. Well done. Give it a go. Give it a go. Okay, Mark. This kit is named after you. Which one have I? Have I, I, have I got know. the one with the elastic? That one or, or that without? one? Is it with or without elastic? Neary, focus. Does it have elastic or not? Yes. Here we go, Mark. This one's you. Go on, Mark, you can bring this one to air. So we have put the specs on. Didn't even put elastic in my kit, did they? So Half this a tube kit... of beads, packet of biscuits. So this kit makes this bracelet. Packet of quavers, that's our Connie. Okay, so you right. have three tubes of your delicates. We've got dusky blue, oh, then I we've see. got really... yellow gold, which is this one here, which is galvanized. And then we've also, now I've not seen this one before. This is called luminous sea coral. Oh, gosh, which is, that's which lovely. Is brand new. I've never had this one before. Then you also get 10 of your Lalalia. Lalalalia. La, your Lalalia beads. Lalalia, la, Lalalia. Now, the, la, the Lalias, they have, can you see we've got this, um, the resin at the back, which is sort of highlighting. So yeah. that, again, that's another extra little detail. Then we've got 10 of the 
opaque aqua blue in your carriers. And then, I've never seen this, it's beautiful. We've this got is gorgeous. Elasticity, 0.8 millimeter in this amazing Ooh, silver Oh, yes. Just beautiful. That's this gorgeous, is. a satin silver. Satin silver. I said this five is Five metres of that. Five metres of that. So this, this is the, the, the elastic that I used on both of my bracelets. And because the holes are large enough, the, the, the knots disappear, as you mentioned earlier. They, yes. they either sit into the carrier bead hole or into the, into the lala. Love them. Yeah, they are gorgeous. So with this design, um, all of the, the carriers are different designs all the way around. There's not two that are the same. So the last kit that we bought to wear was uh, named yeah. L, and it didn't have elastic in, and we went to 24.99. This obviously does have elastic in. There we go. So every, every single carrier bead has got a different pattern. Love that. You've Again. done so, so well. All I, so all I've added are these little four millimeter shell pearl. They're so lovely. From my stash, just to separate them up a little bit. Yeah, I love that. That's really, Beautiful. really clever. And look at the side of those carrier beads. You can see that gorgeous kind of uh, turquoise kind of popping out there. It's just so lovely. Right. Every angle, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so this does have the elastic near it. That needs to be reflected in the price. <laughs> or not. Uh, okay, $24.99. There we go. I love that coral. I know you don't wear like that. It's obvious you don't wear like that. That corally colour is amazing. absolutely beautiful, Mark. It's really lovely, actually, to work with Delicas again. Yes. This is really nice. Nice. Definitely. Absolutely gorgeous. It's so lovely. It's got kind of like a bluey grey going yes. through it, hasn't yeah. it? Stones are beautiful. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Well done. $24.99. Catherine, Cheryl, Angela's got two. Kathleen's got two. Well done to you. Heather, Maker in London's got two. Well done. Pauline. Pauline. Uh, well done to you, Maker. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely tremendous. Well done. 0800. Six triple four six double five. Go go go! Well done at twenty four ninety nine. Well done. What a gorgeous kit. Loads in baskets. These are going to sell out. Well done. Lovely. Yeah. Oh yeah, made the oh, earrings as well. Oh, that's yeah. lovely yeah. earrings. They are gorgeous, Mark. And again, my few little shell. The colours you've gone for there, and the kind of the fact that it's all kind of on the bracelet, all the carrier beads are different. It's very yep. kind of Pendleton rug like, I think, isn't it? It's got that lovely oh. kind of uh, so kind of the Native American rugs. Oh, uh, yeah. that you see with cool. the beauty and it's yeah. these kind of colors and you always see different kind of and yeah. all the different shapes and things mean something and you don't have to cover your carrier bees you can just have them as the natural bead if you want to uh, yeah no, absolutely you don't have to, um, do the bead cover off you don't want to this is the first kit i've ever had named after me carol's kit oh you're just cover a kit carol's kit and i will take this as a direct uh, gauge as to whether you like me or not Okay, and if this kit doesn't sell out, I'm going to be very offended. So you better cut it, otherwise I'm going to be very upset. I'll take it personally. This time it's personal. Okay, so you've got here three colours of your Mayuki's. Navy, one of my favourite colours. Oak, a bit, a, opaque bisque white. Ooh. Uh, and silver lined dark sea foam. Ooh, one of your favourite colours, Mark, isn't it? There we go. <gasps> So ah! This, so this is made from your kit. With that little hidden surprise. Can we show people the hidden surprise? You want to? So you've got your silver wedges there, and you've got your white um, carrier beads as well, which I'll just show you here. They look like that, okay? I'm going to show you the little secret here. If you want to make this, are you ready? Have a look at this little secret. What is the secret, Neary? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you can do this with all of your kits. Because you've got so many of you've got three colours of your of your delicas, you can you can do this. <laughs> Reversible jewellery. I love this necklace. It's gorgeous. Is it because it's named after me? Yes, it is. Right, well done everyone. Ayrshire, Somerset, Essex, Cambridgeshire, Greater London, East Sussex, Oxfordshire, Lancashire, Oxfordshire, Devon, Lincolnshire, Surrey, Devon, Middlesex. This has got to sell out, otherwise I'm going to take it that you don't like me. Okay. And they've dropped the price on you. And I will cry. 20, well, we've got to have... To, so, every little helps, Mark. <laughs> I'm not everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> He's worried for me. He's worried that I'm going to go oh, and uh, yeah, get very oh, upset. And you've got earrings as well. Aren't they yeah. gorgeous, those earrings, Mark? They're, They're stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look, Love look, it. Look. Oh, you're going see? To, you're going to sell out. <laughs> <laughs> I did that years ago, Mark. <laughs> I sold out years ago. 
<laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Selling my soul <laughs> to the devil. Uh, there you go. Gee whiz, I lost any kind of integrity I had many, many years ago. Uh, there you go. I'm going to show you the secret again. The <gasps> secret. Secret, 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 secret. Dun, dun, dun. I got a secret. I got a secret. So, there you so go. if you didn't have the cheesy wedges, <laughs> you'd have to have a small bead at the top yes, and a large, and a large bead, bead at, the, at the bottom. At the bottom. Just to get, but this is, does it all naturally. It's just, it's just perfect. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. That kit's pretty much sold out. Well done. Okay, Mark. Demo. <gasps> when are we going to do the mill? I can never say that word. Who? The um, those. When are we going to do those? Uh, the mi the Millie Fury. Millie Fury, that's uh, the word. As in million flowers. Because I I didn't know we had these today. They're lovely. Mm. We'll do them at some. We'll do them at some point. They're amazing. Yeah, let's we'll do, do them. Oh, okay. Yeah. They've been sat there for the last four and a half hours. Oh dear. Looking at me. Oh, I'll pass goodness. them here. I've got a little. This is going to ruin it for everyone. Sorry. Oh, what are, What are you going to do? <laughs> Sorry. No. Oh yes, let's yes. <laughs> okay, let's do a sub ice. <laughs> Michael, no, I think Michael knows what I'm going to do. Right, OK. Star by, it is a Millie Fury bead. Uh, right, don't go there. Coming up now. Go! Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. What's that? Charlie's just finished his show and he's going and he's going and he's going back on YouTube looking at my demo. Of course he is. Oh. He loves it. Oh look at these. Oh look, there's a little shamrock. Oh look, a musical note. It's a beautiful note. little shamrock. Musical note. I've not seen these before. That's a face. That's a face. No, it's, it's a musical note, isn't it? Oh gosh, I don't know now. That's a face. It's a face with oh, a nose. Oh, right. Hang on. You're joking. Oh, yes. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> what if it's the other way? Oh. Oh, my gosh. What's that? <laughs> Look at those. Oh. <gasps> Oh my mouth. word! There you go. Um, right. Oh, these are hey. beautiful. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous. These are amazing. I've never seen these before with the yeah. different designs. I love that green flower with the rippled. Oh, I love these. Yeah. These are all made with little tiny tubes, or well, um, um, rods of your um, of your uh, glass, oh, which these. are then kind of cut. So they're all handmade. They are all hand hand. It's all hand blown glass as well. It's absolute. That that one oh, there is incredible. It's like a marble. They're like the beautiful paperweights that you get, aren't they? What? Oh, you're joking. What's that? What? How is that not the price? Tom doesn't know what the price is going to. <laughs> you oh. don't know what the price is? Well, why don't you know what the price is? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. So the kit team in their infinite wisdom has fixed the price, but we don't know what the price is going to be. Um, uh, well, do we, can we, is there another way of finding out? Oh, look at this gorgeous moon. Oh, I love that moon. Oh. This price has nothing to do with Neary. It could come oh, in no. at 9.98. We've got no idea. Um, any, I mean, any saving is an amazing saving, but yeah, um, uh, it could come in at 9.98. We don't know. We genuinely don't know how, what price this is gonna come in at. Um, okay. Ready? How long is it going to go? I have no really? idea. No idea. Oh, God. 
Why do I feel like that shouldn't be on air? Why do I feel like that price is very, very, very That's wrong? Silly. No, they're not drilled. They're not, darling, no. Um, why do I feel like that's a completely wrong price? That feels like it's so wrong. Do you know what I would do with this? And there must be a way of doing this. Getting like a, 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 <clears throat> a dome, setting them over the top of the dome and then pouring resin over. So it's like one of those yeah. big paperweights. Yeah. yeah? Oh, my word. Or is it a, 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 yeah. a putting them in resin, making them into coasters? Well, we've, we've, we've got hobby making now, making greetings cards. So yes. You actually glue dot them onto your greetings cards. Yes, absolutely. The what of the glass? COE? No idea what that means, darling. Sorry. The hardness of the glass? Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have a see if we can find out. Oh, uh, look at that. No, I wouldn't use these in glass fusing. Coefficient of thermal expansion. I mean, I understand every word, but I don't understand what the words actually mean together, but I, 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 mm. I, I don't know. Mm. Uh, anyway, well done, everyone. Gorgeous. They are flying out. They're 6 mark. They're like they're sweets, amazing. aren't they? No, they're just they're beautiful. 100 in baskets. Well done. Mark, um, what are you going to demo, lovely? Right. Here we go, then. So I'm going to quickly talk about um, the POT, how we make a belt, number of beads that you make for your belt, and then how to attach them, and then I'm going to make the earring to match the earring I've already made. Lovely. I think we've got time. Lovely jubbly, yes we do. Okay. Used for mosaic work really hard. Oh yes, of course. Yes, yes nice, I like Lovely that. Idea. Okay, so for each bead, you will need a piece of thread about three foot long, okay? And it's your basic even count POT, <coughs> so it's no odd with the, with the um, extra little faffy move at the top, it's your basic even count, so it couldn't be simpler. So, Thread your needle. I'm using a size 10. I don't use size 10 often, but I'm using mm. a size 10 needle. And the first thing we well, need to do is, is, is if you go on to um, internet and put in carrier bead pattern, that there are thousands upon thousands of different combinations, patterns. A lot of them are free to download. Just have a play around or follow the, um, the pattern that I'm using on here or just use one colour, which we know is, is perfectly working mm. for, the, for the bracelet there. So first thing we need to do is we need to stop our beads from falling off. So I'm going to use one of my beads as a stopper. And you need to leave a tail of at least four inches because you're going to be using that to tie off at the end. Okay, so we've got our stopper bead. So the width of a carrier bead, okay, from one side to the other is exactly six beads wide of your Delica. It'll be slightly more on your seed beads if you use seed beads, but we've got delicas in the kits. All of the kits have delicas, so you, it's exactly six beads across. So the combination I'm going to put on for this design is two gunmetal, two rust, and two black. Okay, so that's the combination. Two gunmetal, two bronze, two black. We're gonna slide those down. And I tend to, I like working away from me rather than back and forward. So at every move, I turn the beads around. Mm -hmm. So I'm turning it away from me. And what we're going to do to start the pattern off, if I show you the pattern. So this is, this is the bead. So you've got that zigzag pattern with the multicolors. So to get this pattern, this is what you'll need to start off with. Once you've done four or five rows, it will make perfect sense on the beads that you need to add. So if you just watch this, this little section. <coughs> so now I'm taking my needle and we've got black bronze gunmetal okay so what I'm going to do is I'm, the first color is black so I'm going to pick up another black I'm going to jump the first bead and sew through the next pull nice and tight and you can now see that the two black sit next to each other we're coming up to two bronze beads so I'm going to pick up a bronze and I'm going to jump one through the next pull that nice and tight and then we're going to do the same with the third bead. So I'm just going to slide that little stopper bead down, down a bit. And then we've got the gunmetal. So I'm going to pick up a gunmetal, miss one through one. Like so. 
So when, when I lay it flat, you can see now that we've got the, already the little castellations have started to form. So they're the gaps that our beads are going to be going in. Now, what you need to remember is you don't have two colours of the same next to each other. And the grey, the gunmetal, always has the bronze next to it, OK? So it might be an idea to either record this or watch this back on YouTube just to get the, um, the start of the design. So you never have the bronze next to the bronze. You never have the gunmetal next to the gunmetal. So we're going to go to the right of the gunmetal with an antique bronze, with a bronze shape, OK? So we're going to skip one through one. OK, we want to get the zigzag forming. So we're going to pick up a gunmetal. Going to sew through. Pulling it nice and tight. And then we've got an antique bronze. We want to form the zigzag. So we're going to keep going yeah. with the bronze. So we're going to go in. So if I pull that tight, again, I work away from me. So I automatically flip it over. And you can start to see we've already got <coughs> the zigzag starting to form. So we want to finish off the zigzag with an antique bronze. So we're going to go up. And then we're going to continue the zigzag with the gunmetal. So you can see the line starting to form. Lovely. And then we've got an antique bronze. So we add an antique bronze. We sew that up. I'm going to flip it over, turn it over. Now what you'll notice, if I bring the completed piece over, is we've got a little triangle of the black. Then we have bronze, gunmetal bronze, then we have a little triangle of black. So if you look at the piece I'm making, we've got the gunmetal, we've got the bronze, so we're now going to add the black triangle. So we're going to pick up a black, pulling it nice and tight. And then we're going to continue with the zigzag. So you can see the zigzag pattern starting to form. So it's going to be mm -hmm. an antique bronze. Then it's going to be a gunmetal. OK, I'm going to flip it over. And then we're going to continue with the zigzag. So <coughs> we're going to finish with the gunmetal colour here. And then we continue with the antique bronze. So you can already see the line starting to form. So as I said, I recommend just re-watching this when you have five minutes just to get the start of the pattern. And what's lovely about this pattern is it meets up at the back of the carrier bead. So it's an absolutely perfect symmetrical pattern. So we're going to do the black because we know that there's going to be a black triangle. OK, and then we're going to flip it over. And I'm going to do the black, which will continue and finish off the triangle. Okay, so you can see now that I've got the triangle formed. So what we're going to do now, to make the zigzag, we're now going to make these little tent patterns. So we're going to make the actual triangle pattern. So this is going to have an antique bronze. So we slide that up. And then we're going to have, then we're going to have the, the gun metal. Okay, and then we're going to flip it over and then you continue with an antique bronze. Okay, so okay. once you've seen the, the two triangles here, if you actually go onto my guest designer Facebook page, you'll also see the piece of jewellery, so you'll be able to take the pattern from that if you want to as well. So what you need to remember is when you get to finishing your, your belt, your band, to go around the outside of your carrier bead, you will need 100, um, sorry, you'll need 50 rows Okay, so each row, so this one here, black, bronze, gunmetal, is one row. Antique, um, gunmetal, bronze, black is row number two. So each row consists of three beads. Okay, so you'll need 50 of your rows. Okay, so I'm going to take that across and I've got my, and I've got my band. Okay, so this is the pattern once you've done your 150 oh, that is rows. Gorgeous. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could just continue with this and make a bracelet. Mm. Okay, but we're going to, um, I'm going to quickly show you now how a quick way of counting your rows. So if you look along the bottom, you're going to, I've got an innie, I call it an innie, if I just move that mm -hmm. stopper bead out of the way. So you've got an innie, there's a hole there. And then when you get to the other end, there's an outie. 
Okay, so you always have to have an innie and you always have to have an outie because mm -hmm. you want to zip them both together. And you want to count 50 rows. So if you go along the bottom and each bead, you, you add in denominations of two. So you've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. So you've got enough there to complete your carrier bead band. Okay? Then also a good way of knowing that you're in the right direction is you count your beads, you have your stopper bead working thread at one corner, and then diagonally across you have your working thread. So you know that your two ends are ready to, to um, splice together. Lovely. So to zip together, I'm simply going to take my piece of beading, fold it in half, and if you look down, you can see that they alternate. So we've got left, right, left, right, left, right. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our needle across to the right hand side. We're going to go across to the left hand side. So your, your beading thread is already in the right position. Then we're going to go across to the right hand side. Across to the left. So simple to zip this up. I love it? zipping up, it's amazing. <laughs> and then go across to the right, and then go across to the left. So you now should have, once you do that, your two threads next to each other. So you've got your working thread and your, your, your thread with your bead stopper on. So to finish, we take our beading, mm. and I roll it in my fingers while I'm pulling both of the threads, because this is now making sure yeah. that all of those beads interlock perfectly. So you can see with the pattern, it fits, the symmetry is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pulling that nice and tight. Keep your stopper bead on. And we're oh, okay. going to take our two threads and we're going to tie a single knot, pull it nice and tight, followed by a second knot. Okay, pull that nice and tight. Now that's secure, you can slide off your stopper bead. And what we're going to do, using our thread that we still have our needle on, can you see I'm exiting this gunmetal bead? Yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to go across one bead and sew down through it. I'm going to go across to the next bead and sew up. So I'm doing a zigzag pattern again. Oh, okay. Up. Then I'm going across to the next bead and go down through. Sew down through. So I do this five times, ending with your needle sewing into your beading. Let's just take the needle up there, okay. So once you've done that, that's nice mm -hmm. and secure, you can now go in and cut off your threads. Okay, because you're, you're far enough away from the knot. Yes. So there you have your little beaded belt, which is going oh, to cover cute. your carrier bead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place our belt over our carrier bead. Now you can either use glue Life's too short, I can't, I can't be doing, we're waiting for glue to set. Mm. Okay, so what I use, and you can buy this on Hobby Maker, ah. is five millimeter double-sided sticky tape. Nice. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut off a length of about inch and a half. And while it's flat on your mat, you're going to take, you're going to take your thread, your, you're going to take your sticky tape, you're going to place it on the center of your carrier bead. Yeah. You're going to flip it over and you're going to fold it over, and then you're going to fold the other side over. But what you don't want, you don't want the, the sticky tape overlapping because mm. you'll never be able to undo it. So just take it over, place it nice and tight, and you can see it peels off, leaving, can you see the stickiness yeah. underneath? See the stickiness. See the stickiness. And then what we're going mm -hmm. to do is we're going to position, our, especially if, we, if you've got a pattern, you just want to position your Caribbean cover. So I've got two triangles and three triangles. And then we're going to take our carrier bead. We're going to slide that on the inside so it's nice and secure. And then you're just going to make sure that your pattern is positioned where you want it. And then you're simply going to squidge all the way around and then place it flat on your mat yes. and push down. Oh, and this is where you can see no. that, that it's exactly six beads. That is the coolest thing. Okay, like so. Make sure that's nice and secure. Love it. As I said, you can use glue if you want to, but now if you use glue, you'd have to put that to one side. Oh, and no. I don't have Come the time. On. I don't have the time yeah. <laughs> to do that. Okay, so what I've done, so this is the completed yeah. earring. Okay. Now I've got the two beads. Okay. And I've got one of the little 
beads inside. Very sticky, this tape, isn't it's it? It's amazing, yeah. So what I'm going to do for the, to make the earring, okay, let's pop that one side. So as you can see, I've started at the top here with one of the antique bronze. And these are, again, my black onyx from the, if I bring this across, this is, this is I've got three of these. Of my, um, these are all my different black onyx beads inside. So we've got, as I said, I've got, these are my, what have I called this one? So this is black onyx rounds and rondelles. Nice. This one. Okay, so again, I keep all of my beads, my loose beads in um, boxes like this. So what I'm using are these four millimeter rounds. So I'm going, I've got, I threaded on my first C bead, thread on one of my four millimeter beads, then a seed bead then a onyx. So that's the first section. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to take my first carrier bead, and this is the point where you need to place them with the right design. So you can see that doesn't match. Ah. You just need to make sure when you do it that it yeah. matches. You oh, don't that have looks to, nice. You don't have no, that looks a lovely, Mark. And I'm going to take my needle through the carrier bead hole like so. I'm going to fill the gap. I'm not going to put a C bead in this time. I'm just going to pop in the, the black onyx mm -hmm. down into the carrier bead. So that's going to be the top. This is going to be the bottom. I'll take that out because guess what I didn't do? What? I didn't pop in my... <gasps> Mark! <laughs> uh, well spotted. So make sure that you've got the, the design side uppermost, which I've got there. You need another black bead. So I need another black. Come on. <laughs> another black bead inside. There we go. Then I'm going to just make sure I'm lined up properly. Pop that through the carrier bead. Okay, so that's that side. Now you need to decide what you're going to do at the base. So all I've done yeah. on, my, on my earring here is I've picked up a bead, a seed bead, then a point, then a four millimeter, then a seed bead, and then I've gone up to an eight millimeter, and then a seed bead four millimeter and then another 11 oh I'm going to go back up through the first carrier bead at the bottom so that's your nice base at the bottom there you just pull that up a little bit and all we're going to do is replicate the design that we've popped on the mm -hmm. left hand side so it's a four mil up through the sub bead Make sure that sits properly. And then we've got a four millimeter up through the next bead. Pull that through. Pull that through nice and tight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one of our delicas one of our four mil. Gorgeous. One of our delicas. And what we're going to do then is we're going to go up through the bead that we've got at the top because we, don't, we, do, we want to join the two ends together. So you're going to bring that up through. Pull that nice and tight. Okay, so you've got, just make sure before you, you tie everything off that you've got your base, you've got your two ends. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our needle off. And then we're going to get our shepherd's hook. And the first thing, when you're, when you're tying your threads to your shepherd's hook, just make sure using your flat nose pliers that your loop is thoroughly tight. So I tend to overlap and then squidge down so you hear a little pop. And then you know that your bead thread isn't going to escape out of your mm -hmm. shepherd's hook loop. And then all I do is take one side of the thread through bring up the shepherd's hook, make a single knot, lay it down flat. So you need to have make sure that that knot sits nice and neatly above the loop of your shepherd's yeah. hook. And then I tie a double knot. And then I flip it over, take the two threads round to the other side of the shepherd's hook and die, tie another double knot, pulling that nice and tight and then I would take my needle, I would pop on my threads, and then I would sew back down through before I cut off, but I'll just cut oh. the threads off. 
and then get a little tilt like so. And there is our pair of earrings like so. But as, I said, as I said, if you, um, if you just look back at the start of the demo to get the start of the pattern and then go on to my guest designer page and you'll see, well, you'll see the full zigzag pattern. But once you've done maybe five or six rows, it will all basically, it, it will show you itself what, what the, um, the next bead you need to add. But I just think they're so elegant. And just with that added little sub bead. Guest designer Mark Smith, really. everyone. Yay! Wow. He's a hero. Wow. Well what done. A what what a, show. a show. Right. Please do go to our website, jewelrymaker.com. If there's anything on there that you like the look of, please do check out, add it to your order, whatever you can do, um, because it, it, it can be yours. So just, so just go, 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 go. I think we've got time for one more opportunity. Is that right? Okay. What is this? This is beautiful. Oh, wow. It's the Van Cleef inspired piece. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, Van Cleef inspired turquoise uh, clover. Oh, I love this. <gasps> That's gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. I've got a gorgeous necklace here. Look. Oh, wow. The Van Cleef and our pearl. Uh, if you put in Van Cleef, I can't remember the name of the design. It's called the something. No, it's not a clover design. Ah, it's called the... No, yeah, Van Cleef and our pearls, but it's called the something. Alhambra. Alhambra, that's it. Yes, Alhambra. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful stuff. And you know what? You can get them made in... You can get bracelets. You can get single pendants, a uh, single one in a ring. It comes in all sorts of different gemstones. That one you're looking at there is in something. I, can't, I don't know what it is, actually. It's like it might be Mother Ooh, of Pearl, but I'm yeah. not too sure. Uh, but what you're getting here, obviously, is that gorgeous turquoise quality. It's absolutely superb. Price point-wise, this is amazing. It genuinely is. 49.99. Oh, that's good. That's beautiful. That is really good. Use it with your uh, with your gallery wire, and it will look almost exactly, or almost identical to your um, Alhambra design, your Van Cleef design. It's just gorgeous. Forty nine ninety nine, not your price point today. On this strand, approximately two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty on the strand. There you go, everyone. It's a go go go. Amazing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Oh, my word. Well done, everybody coming through to get this. Oh, uh, what is the price on this? It's a what? $29.99? Oh, with the dress. Mm, with the pinky, pinky dress dress. Uh, well done, Maker in Derbyshire. Greater London's got two. Essex, well done to you. Rebecca in Shropshire, well done oh, to you. Man. That is absolutely superb. Mark, what That's an incredible lovely. deal. That's beautiful. It's so really designer inspired, beautiful. isn't it? Beautiful, absolutely lovely. I, we were talking about Adele earlier, and, I, and um, I've seen her uh, quite a few interviews where she wears one of these necklaces wrapped around her wrist. Oh, my very word, decadent, really? Very decadent. Oh, yeah, you see, and that's it. It, it, yeah. is, it is one of those iconic yeah. designs. Maker, Trishel, um, M. Irene, well unto you. Rebecca, well unto you. Go, 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 go. 0800 644 655. Maker in Hertfordshire, well unto you. Well done to you. Oh, County Antrim's through now. That's absolutely fantastic. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, amazing. gorgeous. They are absolutely flying out the door. I'll tell you something. You've got the most amazing afternoon lined up on uh, Hobby Maker. It's going to be absolutely superb. It's going to be lots and lots and lots of fun. Mark, you have been amazing. It's been a cool show. It's been amazing. Hasn't met, it I been met Charlie. fun? Charlie. He's that's another tick off my bucket list. There you go. That's, that's good. Loving life. Uh, yep, so that's fantastic as well. Uh, you are going to love this afternoon show. You've got Derek with you this afternoon. Hello. Hello. Uh, which is going to be loads of fun. 
Goodness me, card craft galore this afternoon. This is amazing. It's something that looks like a gun. I don't think it is. Uh, well, hopefully not anyway. Uh, but uh, yeah, so loads and loads and loads coming your way. Twenty nine ninety nine for your gorgeous strand of um, uh, stunning turquoise. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Well done, Mark. Um, and well done. That I mean, this. Yeah, we need to we need to keep all these handy. They are gorgeous pieces and, and so inspirational. Tomorrow, you've got hematite kits coming up. You've got Gemma oh. Crow with you tomorrow oh. as well, uh, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Brand new strands of jadeite coming up tomorrow as well. That's going to be exciting as well. Um, loads, loads and loads and loads. Uh, and I'm going to be back with you on Wednesday, which will be exciting as well with Jake Thompson as well. That's going to be amazing. Mark, thank you so thank much. You. Bless you, darling. You. See you at the other side of this for a fantastic afternoon uh, on Hobby Maker. Well done.